good opening from NYXL there. 저희가 체력 관리만 잘하면은 당연히 파이트 매치에서 우승할 수 있다고 생각해요. 파인 선수 <웃음> 머리 조심하세요. 어, 마지막 경기는 저희가 이기고. 이번 스페셜 등은 저희가 하겠습니다. 이시 <웃음> 
with the pizza, Chivovan. but their coaches, however, they did watch those uh, other games. They did take notes. They did put in the work. So let's see if this one is going to be shouldered by the coaches of NYX. You already played them same day, and you just got to watch them warm up against Houston. So you know New York is going to be ready. Let's take a look at who New York will be fielding, though, for our first map. And a bit of a surprise here. Pine! Ooh. The big boss Pine is in action, and they're bringing him out in just our first game. Yeah, Junker Town such an excellent map for him to go off on Widowmaker. And maybe as we move on throughout some of these other maps, Horizon, for example, they might bring him back in. And Sabi will be definitely dangerous, but when you have Pine and Libero together, this is the Junker Town composition. What a crazy combo. I mean, we were just picking up Libero as this man who we thought was the Jack of all trades master of them, but he's, that wasn't the case at all in the match today. And now with Pine by his side, the big boss man himself, I mean, who knows what sort of havoc New York are going to be unleashing onto the fields of Junker Town. I mean, it's going to be a messy match, that's for sure. All right, let's close out our pre-game segment with some official predictions. We've showed you the starting six. We know this is a best of five. First one to walk away with three victories. I want to start with you, Zoe. No. Are you going with <laughs> London Why? or are you going with New York, who won in their first meeting earlier today? New York, Sabiobi and Libero. I am sorry. I want, I want London to win. As someone from Europe, I do, I really do want that. But I think New York is just simply going to be better. New York today. Bren, where are you going? I doubted London before. I swapped my prediction. Not now, not again. I'm going with London all the way. I'm expecting this to win this, and it's going to be a clean sweep. I'm expecting it to be a 3-0 <laughs> for our boys in blue. I guess they're both in blue, but the ones in the light blue, the cyan blue. The, the white team. blue, the baby blue. Yeah. Your home country going to be represented well, and you might not turn your back on them this time. Sideshow. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to go for NYXL. I feel like history didn't serve me so well in the London-Houston game, but NYXL have got all the pieces. I think this map pool suits them. They're looking good. That is it for our pre-match coverage. 125 grand on the line. Who's going to walk away with the big chunk? It's time to find out. Let's send it down to the stage with Malik for our player introductions. Thank you very much, Puckett. Shouts out to both teams because they've both been playing very hard to get here. Now let's introduce our first team. The first team, they've basically battled their way all the way here to the final. After having a very rough week, please join me in welcoming to the stage the London Spitfire! On attack, the baby face assassin, Burning! Give it up for your London Spitfire! All right, guys. Feel free to go get settled in. Now, our next team, they've pretty much been stomping through the competition with Timberland boots. I have to make the joke again, guys. I'm sorry. It's New York. You have to make that joke. Anyways, please join me in welcoming to the stage the powerhouse, the number one seeded team for the Overwatch League in the first stage, NYXL! Frontliner Miko, the Big Apple's finest, Mono, and the Dead Eye Assassin, Pine. Give it up for your NYXL. Well, as you can see, the boys are charged up. What about you guys? You charged up? 
y'all sound pretty charged up to me. It is the finals. Let's get into this thing and send it back over to Monty and Doa. All right, thanks, Malik. Here we are after a long day, after a long stage. It is time. Our stage one finals. New York Excelsior taking on London Spitfire, a rematch of a match we saw earlier in the day, went to map five, it was epic, but looking at those maps, only one of them are shared in this pool with that earlier series. Which is actually really exciting because we're yeah. going to see an entirely different set of maps with the exception of Dorado. And as Sideshow mentioned, I do think that this map pool is a little bit favored towards the New York Excelsior, probably Oasis the most so, so because we've seen the London Spitfire not play well on the map. It has sure. been their worst map over this first stage. But let's talk about the first map in this series, man. We're going to Junkertown or originally and pine is in right i mean do you think it's just a hit scan thing do you think it is just the widow that they want to bring him in for because we talked about this the other day where new york does sometimes suffer when pine kind of is doing his own thing and he does sort of pull new york as a team away from that safer style they've been so successful with yeah that's true but i think that in particular junkertown is a map that really rewards his Widowmaker and mccree play and you right. don't necessarily have to play with a tracer so putting pine true. up in those duels at the Widowmaker position will be an interesting facet of this match. But London, they've been showing us a lot of versatility in their styles. In the first three weeks of our stage, it was a lot of dive, a lot of aggressive, surprisingly reaper play a lot of the time from the London Spitfire. And they started to lose a little bit of a momentum, right. found the Junkrat, and then earlier this week switched in almost entirely off at versus Houston, lost versus Houston, and then revived it against Houston today. So I think in the current meta, we have to say that the best teams, the teams that have really stuck to a Junkrat Widow defensive meta, with these heroes, particularly with Mercy, we have seen much more defensive focused play and an increasing ability to have full holds or slower, more drawn out pushes. Very true. I gotta say, I, I never thought there would be a day in Overwatch when I was talking about the Junkrat focus meta being <laughs> Junk, Widow. like the king. Yeah, Junkrat Widow. <laughs> Still, it's great. What a time to be alive. Well, here we go. London Spitfire battling it out. I almost feel like we've watched a mini tournament today where New York knocked London into the lower bracket earlier, so to speak. London has battled all the way back here. They are fatigued, they are tired, but they are victorious so far, at least in as much as it's gotten them to get to play New York again. It's just a great story today. Absolutely, but you do have to say they, they must be fatigued, as you oh, mentioned. This is their 10th. Yeah game today. Yeah. New York only on six. They had some time to rest up. I think that's a wise use of their time. As Zoe was saying, the coaches can relay the necessary information because they've already prepared these maps. They knew they were coming in in first place today. They were ready to play on Junkertown already. Sure. Makes sense. Well, here we go. London Spitfire getting ready to go on the attack here in London or here in Junkertown rather. <laughs> Not London yet. We're not on King's Row yet, Doug. Not quite yet. Let's get the stage one finals going. Ooh, y'all. On that Roadhog. Pushing out. Pretty classic attack going on for London Spitfire so far. Yeah, they are running two supports, though. Meanwhile, New York Excelsior, they want Roadhog on their flex support, which is a strategy that we've seen this New York Excel team use more than any other True. on this map. And it's all about controlling the flanks and controlling the angles out of that choke point right now. Pine is in the back on the low ground. And he's going to be behind that barrier for the most part, as well as behind some terrain on the left side of your screen. So they're using the Diva and the Roadhog right now to control the side. And London is all, all of their members are over here on the left-hand flank. Yeah, they're really trying to give Birdring some space to kind of get some shots. And he does see Mech Mecho, and that is really big. Maybe that is the cue for London to get back on the payload, and it is. Birdring does get the kill onto Pine, but missing that Diva for a while may be something that London can use to push this through point A. We'll find out. As the fight begins in earnest, Jonak goes down early. Profit with the kill there, but Dosin falls to Libero. Another victim claimed, claimed by the Junkrat now. The Riptire coming in. Libero looking to stop this push. The rest They're of the They're all grouped up. Can do it. Oh, he gets who, y'all? A lot of damage onto Profit right now. It is only that Orisa on the payload stopping London Spitfire. Mecco does go down again. London with a very measured push here coming into the end of point A. 
Uh, Profit should be clearing this out with the next rip tire. This is London's chance just to get a quick point A here. Oh, there goes Mano. He got it again, and that is a quick point A from London. So London did something we almost never see, which is commit all members to one side of the choke point. And because they did that, they quickly demeched Mecco. Nice. They get a kill onto Pine there, and then held him in that mini diva form while simultaneously picking off Pine and then slowly moving the payload up. So great measured attack from the London Spitfire yeah. here on Junkertown and mixing it up tactically in a way that we rarely see on this map. I love the way they protected Bird Ring too and kind of opened up the option for him to get those shots, get the picks, get Mecco demacted. Get the momentum going London's way. Now on point B, they're trying to do just that same thing again. As they try to keep NYXL bottled up, they were able to take that aggressive high ground. Yeah, London's been making Pushing. a ton of space here on both points so far. They've kept Pine in the back. Infrasight is up for the NYXL Widowmaker. He's going right. to use it right away. Now Libero down, Pedosin with a big pick there on the Junkrat on NY. Pine finds the pick on the Profit though. Genji out of commission, Wu Yao back. Pine with three! Pine with four, in fact! And Pine steps up to the plate and hits a grand slam. And that's what you get with Pine, Doa. He flanks around the backside of the London formation, as you're about to see with the Infrasight, and nailed the shots. Not many Widowmakers would go for this play. Yeah, but Pine would. And he just absolutely nails it here. Even the machine gun, what a flick. Are and you another serious? One. Beautiful. This guy's a living highlight reel, man. And NYXL gets some stability on defense, and that's a bit more, but Dosen goes down. Pine hooked. Can he get away? No. Tries to Spider-Man grapple into thin air, but doesn't work in Overwatch. He still finds some purchase and gets out. Dust down London without their mercy again. Libero with a rip tire does get killed in the back by Bedoshin. Supercharger has fallen for the London Spitfire, but Pine still on the high ground trying to prevent this payload from moving. Uh, meanwhile, YXL spreading out around the point here. Mecco down one more time. Can they stop them? There's a tranquility coming in for London, trying to desperately hold on to this point. Arc brings Pine back into the action. Libero has to back away. Jonak loading up yet another old fire. A little bit of damage done to Profit, but he's going to back away. Mano down. Maybe London can grind this one out. They've got the Valkyrie in action. Now Jonak pops his transcendence. Yeah, he wants to use this, but Pine is getting pushed out. There are only four members down on the payload, and yeah, Profit. Whoa! Profit accelerates to 88 miles an hour and goes back to spawn. And it looks like London's going to be able to, if they demech Mecco, there's a pulse bomb to do just that. Now they should have point B. Yeah, there it is. So now Pine onto the McCree for this last point, trying to cut off this dive composition run by the London Spitfire. Expect more of these flank attacks from Pine through the corridor. London has to be hyper aware that he is going to take these risks, and they must punish him when he does so. Very true. Profit on that Genji. Trying to build up that Dragon Blade. Complete point C a little bit later here. Libero has to back off the high ground for the moment. So much was used on that last push, though, no. And Libero is going to use the only ult available to either team right now with his Rip Tire. That's got to be big. Coming around the high ground, taking a lot of damage here. Oh, but he finds Bird Ring. Libero falls, though, in response. Profit gets back there with the headshot. Meanwhile, Mecco trying to chase down Gesture. Oh, Gesture not going to survive that one. Echo backing off, looking pretty healthy. There's the Supercharger in action now for NYXL. They're finding out with that increased damage. Profit down, Supercharger out of commission. That was a Supercharger and, uh, used, though, Doa, with only tanks and supports up. Opados and both supports out of commission now for London. NYXL gets a little bit of peace and quiet here. Yeah, Profit started that fight well by picking off Libero in the back while using the rip tire, and then afterwards camping on his body so they couldn't get a resurrect. So everything looking okay for London at first. Right. A lot of damage coming through from the supercharger, even though it was only the tanks and supports up. Pine. Here comes the McCree. He's retaking his spot on the high ground. Yeah, the dive comes in from London. Trying to claim that high ground, but Libero ready. Gesture falls, murdering the target now for Pine. Looks around, sees us. To murdering for the moment. If you can finish him off, it would be big. Coming down, watch out. Oh man, they got Libero murdering with the pulse bar kill. Pine though, changing it around. Nuss in the Valkyrie, trying to fight him off. Pine.
can't get the kill. Again, Transcendence coming. Mine just needs to finish these guys. He's trapped in the corner now. Libero falls to profit, and here comes the Dragon Blade for even more. Two kills, Pine and Mecco out of commission, and he's not maybe done quite yet. The Transcendence blocks a bit of the damage, but in the end, Jonak does fall, and London winning a fight that's gonna get this payload most of the way there. And New York, I think, is holding onto their support ults just a little bit too long, though, and that's the second maybe. fight we've had where both teams have used all support ultimates, but London has come out on top. Jonak seems to be trying to hold that transcendence, and in the meantime, a lot, we see some of his team members falling first and after the Valk reses have already been used. All right, Libero's Riptire is incoming. Trying to find some victims, going for the back lines. Can he get there? Oh, it's close, taking damage, but Bird Ring takes out the tire. The threat dealt with London back towards the payload now. It did push them back off their formation. Look at Nuss's charge, though, on the Valkyrie. That's going to be the big difference Jonak. maker. Jonak with a big pick on the Bedosa, Zen versus Zen. Nuss going to bring him back up for the moment, but that's a res out of commission for now. He's getting close to a Valkyrie, though. Yeah, he is. Dive coming in. Gesture going deep. Going to get pushed back a bit. Woo, y'all, under a lot of threat. Gets deep back. Goes for the self-destruct, and he kills out of that one. No, but Nuss manages to kill Libero on that Mercy. Now Mecco on his own, but here come the respawns for New York. Trying to keep people up with that Valkyrie. There's a res on the gesture. Self-destruct comes in. London able to dodge it for the most part. Pressure on the back lines, and Prophet needs to be the hero again with this Dragon Blade. Deadeye doesn't work out. Mecco's back out of commission. And Prophet pushes New York back. They're nearly there. Less than a meter remaining. And Pine didn't quite get on the payload at wow. the front lines. London gets all three. They do it, though, with no time left in the bank. So not a lot to work with right now, but they do get pushed back at the very end. It looked okay for New York. I think they could have had that one had they just held on a little bit longer and made sure they threw some bodies at the payload. There were three people standing around it, but nobody yeah. able to get there in time. Well, Pine looked almost afraid towards the end of that one, stayed way far back on the McCree, and yeah, you have to worry about the dive, but it didn't seem like he was even in a spot to get any of those sort of medium range headshots. Yeah, he was playing pretty far back, and even when he moved forward, there were some uh, very, very subtle misplays. Uh, he threw a flashbang on one of the reses onto Prophet and didn't actually end up with it. It was like a half second miss time with when the res completed, so he True. wasn't able to get the flashbang right immediately afterwards. You know, you can talk about the fatigue for London Spitfire coming into this one. They have played a lot of games today, but by the same token, you could say, hey, these guys are all warmed up. New York's kind of been sitting around since this morning. You know, maybe London comes into it feeling a little bit more comfortable because they just played. Yeah, that's true. Hard to, hard to equate the uh, the pros and cons of all the situations, but the results may speak for themselves by the end of it. London on the defense now. Three points. Finish it in OT, though, so NYXL, if they can finish it with any time left on the clock, should be in good shape, but they got to get there first. And we are going to see a straightforward... Attack here looks like from New York with the Bastion as we typically see London going to stick with their two supports For the moment so not going with a Roadhog single support composition for Some extra power to make some picks right at the start of this map and what? All right, let's go NYXL coming out of spawn London playing a pretty aggressive defense yeah. Pretty far up there, but they may back off fast. So Sonic Arrow into the side building as Bird Ring takes out Mono, but Whoa. he pays for it, and the reverse hook. Hooks for days, man, but Pine gets the kill on Bedosin. Arc brings Mano back. New York looking okay. Woo, y'all under pressure here. He's got some healing from Bedosin, so Pine gonna back away for now. But you're feeling pretty good about that if you are New York. Sure. Jonax coming back out on the Roadhog. There's a long spawn walk back for the slow Arisa with Gesture. So you've got yourself a lot of payload movement. Everybody from London is stacked up on the side here. Yeah, Pine with another shot at Bedosin. There goes Prophet! You just can't give this guy any space at all. Nearly had a shot. That was a too aggressive oh, play. Oh, Nuss gets caught by Pine again. Gets in there. Gets his hands dirty. Gets taken out, but the payload moving. 
London positioned themselves on the far side of the point, away from where Gesture was able to come back after his respawn, and they didn't have any Orisa barriers to protect them. Right. Once New York realized that, they were quick to make the adjustment, and Pine cut off their escape route, as well as Gesture's ability to rejoin his team. Now they're coming in again. London not giving this point up quite yet, 0.9 meters to go. In fact, they actually got it. Oh, they did take it. So that actually is going to be pretty rough for London. Now New York winning that fight has a great opportunity to punish this. Thus in a lot of trouble getting chased by Mecco. Maybe they can get him, but either way, they've got London cornered right now. And Pine keeps on hitting his shots as they try to reconvene on the payload. So London now all the way back in point C. That was a long stagger kill on the Nuss at the end of that. Yes, it definitely was. And now they return here with both teams and their Valkyries up. Libero did use the rip tire to make sure they took point A. So Prophet can open up with this one. See if he can pick off Ark and extend this hold. All right, Prophet sending out his ultimate. See what the rip tire can do. Waiting for that one. Meanwhile, Pine still looking for the enemy. Widowmaker maybe. Oh, Pine! That's who the rip tire found. Prophet takes a bit of time, gets the kill. And so London. We'll try to use that man advantage to come forward. Ark denying that with the resurrection. Yeah, they had to wait for the barrier. That's why it took so long yeah, for Pine to be here. revived. We all sure was okay you were going. for Ark. And now they are going to charge forward into the Spitfire. Oh, man. Jonak finding the hook, finding the kills. Another one comes in. He's got it on cooldown now. Profit with another kill on the Pine, but the payload not really stalled out too much at all here on point B. What's crazy about the Excelsior Doe is they have three great Roadhog players on this team. Yeah. We've seen Mono play it. When they go Roadhog Diva as their only tanks. Of course, Mecco has been fantastic. And now Jonak, who specifically plays it on Junkertown and a couple odd maps here and there, hitting all of the necessary hooks, and that keeps the payload moving. Shows you what an incredible wealth of skill there is on this team. As London dives in for the defense here, they've got to start stalling out this payload. Still 4.30 on the clock. That helps. Bedosin gets a headshot. Rez comes in, of course. Meanwhile, Jonak does fall. So perhaps with this transcendence, London can start to push New York off the payload. They're going to try. Re-engagement, though, after know, the transcendence ends. They commit the supercharger just to keep pushing. Yeah. It's not, a, not the hugest commitment. It's not the fastest building ultimate ever, but it is something. Ooh, self-destruct comes in. Libero caught by it, can't get into the room in time. Pine gets the kill onto Nuss, too. And Nuss going down is the big one, Doa. They were saving that Valkyrie throughout that entire fight, waiting for the re-engagement. Right, another hook onto Wu Yong is brought in. There's a kill. One more for Jonak. Gets the kills on Zenyatta, but man, his Roadhog is so threatening. Misses that hook, he gets stuck. Ooh, 30 health, somehow alive, takes a breather and makes it through. Man, most Roadhogs would be long dead by now, but that healing certainly helping out. And Pine it cornered, has moved over to the Tracer, and he's starting to make these plays. The supports, the supports cornered in the side room. Yeah, it's just a slaughter hallway no for kidding. the support players. And we have three minutes and 20 seconds, and the New York Excelsior are almost at the end of Junkertown. They have got nearly all the time in the world to complete this map. Got the ultimates as well, but remember on London, still two support ultimates work. They're gonna use the Valkyrie right away. It's not gonna stop you all, you all rather, from getting DMEC. Oh, double kill from Mecco on that Diva. That's one of the victims, and they are going to complete it with 4.03 in the clock. There were no tanks left. Bedoshin had just gotten his trance up, tried to make it back to the payload, but New York had already taken out everyone from London, and Man, there was that's just, it. There was just no stopping New York on that push. They barely got slowed down. That was incredibly convincing. You'd have to say. No kidding. So as a result of that, we will go into time bank a minute. Now for London, but four minutes and three seconds for New York. And I don't think they're going to be bamboozled by that heavy <laughs> flank we saw from London on point A again. Probably not. Let's see what happened quite at the end there. Gesture 
You know, Wu Yal gets bounced off. Gesture, did he get there? That self destruct, good zoning actually from Beko. Gets the double kill again, like Profit. The rest of uh, London, they needed to stay on that payload. So the yeah. double kill at the end, yeah, not really their fault. It's all no. you can do to try to stop it. Yeah, absolutely, though. And those in overtime or in the last few meter situations, ultimates like self destruct and primal rage. Deadeye that can control space so effectively are at their highest value. Certainly. And you can see that with the play that New York made right at the end of Junkertown. So yeah. now we're going back to defense here. Will be the same look, single support with the Roadhog. Played by Jonak, who really showed us some impressive skills. And London. Again, with less than a minute now, the doors are open. They got to push this. Oh, and Pine denies Profit immediately here. That's a rough start for London. The, the payload's still going to move a bit, but a little bit easier for New York to move up on that one. Yeah, Looks attempted by Jonah. I mean, right now, so far this map, though, Pine no has duel. had 17 final blows to Bird Rings 10. Crazy. So he's had more, a few more deaths, though, five more to be specific, but that's what you get with Pine. You're going to get more final blows, you're going to get a few more deaths. It comes with the territory. Very true, yeah. 20 seconds left for London Spitfire. They got to get this payload as far as they possibly can. No more extra time, no matter what happens now. Drop it down. Libero with a kill. And the respawn getting a bit farther away for London now. And they've just taken over this payload, Doa. They're sitting behind that oh. barrier, except for Jonak, apparently, who gets caught a bit too far forward. They're going to try and rescue him. Get some support from Mono. They did rescue him. He's still alive. Jonak turns out. around with a hook, too. How does he do it? Pedos it down. Pine with the kill on the dust. No more supports for London here. Murdering does D-Mac back out. Wu Yao desperately trying to keep him alive, but not enough health. There's a rip tire. Overtime going to tick, but no profit. Now it's the a last one. Battle. He's the last man there left. There could be only one, and it's going to be Libero. Libero XL is the new Highlander. That's right. <laughs> Junkrat v Junkrat. The Junklander, I guess you could say. <laughs> the Junk Towner. They could be only one. He's the king of Junker Town now. Yep. So, London needs to have pretty much the most epic hold in the history of Junker Town to win this map. New York not needing to push it really too far at all just past the second set of buildings to win junkertown and go up 1-0 in this finals now to be fair where the cart ended was a defensible position for london sure they have basically they only have three more seconds than they would have on a normal point a attack and when we do see full holds we do see them frequently at this choke point so it's not out of the realm of possibility but look at this we're going to see a quad tank Moira attack. Now, the problem with this, Doa, Ooh, man, is that the, the last time New York attacked uh -huh. on their first attack run, what they did was they sonic arrowed this building that they're, they're going to be moving into. Right. So they have to wait for the sonic arrow to end because New York was ready for these shenanigans. You can see Pine already on the Hanzo. They're expecting this. This is so risky. This. This is so risky so because, they're, they're going to wait yeah. for the sonic arrow before they move in. They're going to speed boost into that building after right. the sonic arrow is down. This is going to be crazy. All right, London going for it. You got to do something. That payload needs to get stopped immediately. And Sonic Arrow comes out. Don't okay. see them. That's right. Gonna wait. It's over. They're going in now. They got spot. Oh, Jonak hooked immediately. Jonak in a lot of trouble. Gets pulled back here. Gets low. Can they keep him alive? Oh, no, they can't. And London, the defense starting out okay. But they're gonna need a lot many more fights than that. Jonak does fall. Uh, this is still going to be really hard, but if yeah. you can clog some of these choke points with a lot of tanks, you're going to be feeling better. Jonak immediately onto the Zenyatta. They need the Discord Orb to burn down the tanks. Libero goes on to the okay. Tara because they have nothing to deal with him. No, there's nothing that's going to be able to shoot up really and do anything that far unless he gets low enough to be grabbed. you got to be careful there. Bird ring in a little bit of trouble, getting bounced around. Libero with a bird's eye view. Hammering gesture here, gets the Zarya shield. And now the Winston jumping in. Mano helps get the kill onto Nuss. Gesture's gonna go off the edge. Goodbye, Reinhardt. Libero sends him on his way, and New York are putting them in position to take this map. A lot of members of London dropping. That's it. It's just Prophet and Bedoshin left with Wu Yao falling. And they're keeping on pushing the payload. That'll oh, be a barrage just to zone them off. 
Yeah, that's right. One last stand from Bedosin on the Lucio. He's going to drop fast. Jesher could jump in. Nope, can't get there. And New York Excelsior taking Junkertown. I really admire what London was trying to do. They knew they had four minutes to stall. They knew they had to fight them right out of the gates on the spawn and make them pay for every meter. They were clever playing around the Sonic Arrow, but at the end, New York made some very fast swaps back to the Zenyatta to yeah. burn down some of these tanks over to Libero on the Fara. They knew they weren't gonna have any answers. So New York's reaction ends up winning them the game. Yeah, they've got the early lead, but let's see what happens on map two. We'll be back right after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. Intel, the official computer processor of the Overwatch League. And by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network. Welcome back, everybody, to the Overwatch League Stage 1 Finals between New York Excelsior and London Spitfire. Right now, New York taking Junkertown, but we are going to Oasis. That's right. It's control map time, Monte Cristo. It is control map time, and Oasis is a map that the Excelsior <laughs> at least when you look at their wins, seem to do very well on. Sure. But when you actually take a look at those games, they often win two to one or by very slim margins. So in a normal series, you might say, well, maybe there's a, maybe New York could be beaten, but London has been horrific on this map overall. Yeah. It's been by far their worst map over the course of stage one. So I have to say, I don't have a lot of confidence in London's ability to even up this series, at least on this map. Right, and this is a best of five. So if New York ends up going up two in a row, that means they're only one more win away from that ch that uh, final winner's position, that $100,000 prize. They're, they're in a good spot, is what I'm saying. Fury in for Wu Hyal. 
on London. Subbing out the flex tank. And meanwhile, Sabe will be coming in for New York Excelsior Pine. Sitting on the bench for this one. But on Oasis, that's not really that big of a surprise, is it? No, it's not. And when we saw New York play against Seoul, they didn't play Pine at all. And Oasis was part of that map pool. And right. even though they sometimes play Pine on Oasis, they, as a trend, have not done it against some of the harder teams or what they believed to be, I should say, the harder teams in this league. And that reason is because the Tracer is really valuable in a lot of these points. Sabe will be an yeah. exceptional Tracer player. And the McCree and Widow lose a lot of value on this map, as opposed to Ilios, where I think you definitely put Pine in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Pine on Ilios, especially on Lighthouse, like one of the greatest hero player map combinations we have in Overwatch League. But Sabe will be brings that Tracer expertise. He can flex a little bit, but mostly this guy is going to be the guy you're going to have to look out for in your rearview mirror if you're London Spitfire. I mean, planes probably don't have rearview mirrors <laughs> like that, but <laughs> it's a cameras. figure of speech. They have guys. rearview cameras, I'm sure. That's, that's right. Maybe Spitfires didn't, but you know. <laughs> Oh, then maybe they had rearview mirrors, actually. Yeah, uh, that's actually you, possible. You, I bet you they did. You have to see who's on your tail if you're dogfighting. True That's enough. pretty critical. What are you going to do? Turn your head around? I, I could be right. Some historian <laughs> on Twitter correct me. Let me know. I'm pretty sure they would They would have had to have had uh, rearview mirrors, though. That's that's my, my logical you're, conclusion. When you're backing the plane up to then take off, maybe. <laughs> you're backing out of the parking space. I don't know. I don't know anything about planes. <laughs> well, Doe, I mean, you, you really missed your, your calling as an aviation engineer. <laughs> I do. Aviation parking expert. Uh, easy Easiest job in the world, yeah. We needed you on those aircraft carriers. It's hard to park those planes, so that's a, perfectly, right? That's, that's what I've heard. That's what I've been told <laughs> anyway. Well, Junkertown went the way of NYXL. Now we are going to Oasis to see if New York can make it 2-0, get, them get themselves one map away from the victory, or if London will tie things up. Should be exciting. Here we go. It will be Gardens first. On Oasis, do not be fooled by the screen in front of you. It's just a beautiful map fly through. That's what you're watching right now. So with Gardens, of course, we can expect to see Libero playing the Fara. Indeed. Well, no surprise there. Libero, you know, uh, of course, the desk mentioned it. A lot of uh, you and I saw this back when we casted Libero in Korea at the uh, Apex tournaments. Definitely a jack of all trades. He was the guy you would bring in if you have this wacky strategy that, need, that needed this very specific hero that nobody else really played. That was Libero's place to be, right? And he's kind of evolved from there, right? Or, or maybe it's more that the meta has sort of evolved to fit him even a little bit. I, I think that he actually, as a player, has improved. And I think we've seen that over the course of stage one as a whole. And as we look at London Spitfire, we can ask the question, why aren't they that good on Oasis? I think one of their major problems is if they put their best Fara player, which is Hureg, into this roster, they don't have necessarily the best hero pool for all three points on Oasis. So they sort of have to uh, control for the fact that they don't have an ideal hero pool on every single one of these points. And meanwhile, New York is going to do something that we've seen them do before, which is play in this corner with right. the Orisa shield and Sabe will be going to be on that McCree. And a bit of the keep away. Standing in the corner, Sabe will be on the high ground. Looking for a few shots. Being annoying, getting chased away. There's a nice flashbang out of Fury. That one actually didn't get absorbed and now he's got a little bit of support. From Mecco up on that high ground, Fury does get d -macked. Good start for New York. And we see Gesture playing the Roadhog as the main tank with Fury on the D.Va. Yeah. They're still going to get some kills there. Oh boy, yeah. Gesture coming back, getting the kill on the Mano, getting Samyobi. Gesture going crazy, man. And suddenly London will just roll right over New York, but a boot to the head. And Bedosin, or rather Jonak, will show that he is still not a Zenyatta to be messed with. I don't think New York expected them to run this composition because it is great at dealing with those Orisa barriers when you have the Roadhog spam to put in there. True. And so a slow poking process through the Orisa barrier eventually results in some Roadhog hooks that make a difference. Yeah. New York swapping things up a little bit. Yeah, they're going to do the same thing, except yep. for going to use Libero on the Soldier. So long range hit scan poke. And this is all about poke and fishing for both of these teams. They're looking for opportunities oh to boy. use the Roadhog hooks. Wow, speaking of opportunities, Bird Ring back, Rock back up. Now it's going to go ahead and bring Gesture back too. Valkyrie in action. 
Profit looking for a bit more now. And London Spitfire continues to hold for the moment. Arc though, using that first the ultimate, bringing people back, but it doesn't save Mono. Profit going back in, Libero down, and now Mecco a little bit on his own. Oh, Profit recalling, nearly got booped off the edge there. But so far, so good for London. And both teams using their Valkyries, both teams saving their trances for this point. So great discipline so far. I think New York, even though we've seen them do this, we normally see them do it with Pine. So they, I think they tried to call London's bluffs by putting in save Yolby and running this strategy anyway. Unfortunately, London has done a great job of countering it. Yep. It certainly has worked so far. Gesture hiding behind the pillar now. Be able to back away into the defensive. Barry to the roof. Spinoza down. Jonak with another pick as they come in. And there's a kill on a profit from save Yolby. Gesture gets hooked in, has to run for his life. Surprisingly agile is that Rodog coming in from behind. Nice hook on the Mecco. Where's the follow-up? Oh, the follow-up is him getting hooked and blasted into oblivion. Gesture down, murdering, waiting for an opportunity to use that dead eye, and he's gonna have to keep waiting as they get pushed back. So at 99%, and YXL will flip it. Yeah, but London really gave that one up. You'll notice Fury didn't even use his self-destruct. So sure. they had already committed to pulling back out of that fight and trying to come once again for a 99% push. But New York weren't baited into that. Jonak has had this transcendence for a very long time now. Yeah, both teams with a lot of ultimates, including both support ultimates to use here. So London has a chance to make a couple of pushes and try and get those support ultimates out, burn as much as they can from the New York side. Yeah. New York is going to have to hold on to quite a bit. A lot of that is going to be profit, pushing that back line. They do get the ult out of Nuss. Nuss actually pops the Mercy Ultimate, Mano down. Gesture able to wade in and get that Rodog v Rodog kill. Birdring rolls to safety. The bro back on the high ground now. And New York holding for the moment. Fury and Gesture a little bit hesitant to come in. And now the, okay, now the transcendence for Bedosin. That's another support ultimate down. Jonak and Arca both use theirs too. Now Libero with the attack visor. What can he get? He gets some zoning, zoning, pushing everyone back into the firing lines of his other teammates. But Birdring and Fury come right back again. Birdring pressured, and here comes Mano. I don't think he's going to make it. now. Mecco finishing that one off. Nuss in a bit of trouble, but Mecco low health has to be careful. Fury on top of him. Nuss does fall. Mecco just trying to get away. Turn around and D-Max Fury. So that's something. And New York Excelsior, after that apocalyptic team fight, still hold the point. It definitely was an apocalypse on that point. Wow. There's a lot of commitment from the London Spitfire, thinking they have an opening. But Ark is so elusive. And one thing you can watch about Ark's play is during his Valkyrie, he will wait for a barrier. Oh, again. Birdring. Jonek has found a pick in like every fight this round. Birdring res by Nuss, of course, with Mano. Pops that whole hog gesture up against the wall. He's gone. And London getting zoned out. Overtime is ticking, man. They got to get back on there. Mano just waiting for the flank. He really wants to get that hook. On to McCree. Murdering. He's oh, on there. He's on a mission. Oh, boy. And Sabielby gets a couple extra kills. And that is that. New York will take round one. One of the things that has powered up New York has been exceptional mercy play. The fight broke up, so I didn't have a lot of time to talk about it. But if you watch Ark during his Valkyries, he won't go in to immediately resurrect people. He will be communicating primarily with his tanks and waiting for them to put down a barrier or waiting for the defensive matrix to be up and hiding behind them so he's not either shot or hooked during this process. So right. a lot of the time with New York, you'll see six, seven, eight seconds go by on these respawn timers because they, they very intentionally set up the resurrection to protect arc and that gives them such good value out of this mercy city center is where the next round will be here on oasis nyxl a win here would win them the map london wants to equalize they've got bird ring back on the mccree again similar composition to what we saw only minus the road hog libero on that soldier 76 one more time now they really want to get up onto this high ground and start poking oh, away with the soldier in McCree. Too much pressure on the Zenyatta. He was a little bit separated from the rest of his team, who is now back into that little room. The point is unlocked. Nobody trying to take it just yet. Now New York moving in. They've got the edge, positionally. Oh, now London actually gets it. New York backed away. And 
getting a little bit of progress going. But you don't also expect a soldier on the middle of that map. Not really, no. Ooh, gotta be careful though. Birdwick down. Jonak with yet another kill. Yeah, these picks are really causing problems right now for the London Spitfire. They have to take an aggressive bend and go in early. Yep, that's right. New York still getting close to taking this one. Libero has to drop down by out of grenade. There comes the pulse bomb. Mecco deep back. Helix Rocket thrown in, but London has found an okay position here on the point. Mecco zoned out, killed. Ark holding it. Aggressive, man. Finally, Ark uses his Valkyrie again, waiting until they reclaim the space yep. on the side before using that ability, making sure that he is not in a position of danger. Libero out of the way, though. London still keeps getting these kills, and now Birdring, the one on the high ground, firing down on the members of New York. Snippy Obi, oh, nice headshot! He waited, he lined it up, and he got it. Birdring dropping now. Sick flashbang, but the kills, the other shots were blocked. And now Mano takes a breather, but gets bumped back by Fury. That's it, another shot out of the flying arc. Meanwhile, Prophet, half health, Birdring gonna go out and try to keep protecting him. And it looks like London is gonna take the point and hold it. New York, I mean, it, it looked good for them early on, but they just kept losing people. Well, they never actually took the point. It yeah. would have been great for New York had they taken it and then been able to stall it, but instead London sneaks it away and ends up in a much more enviable position. That said, New York is coming back with a pocket full of ults. Have that attack visor. They need to get onto the high ground first. It's more than a pocket full. Four out of six. That's like a fanny pack at least, man. <laughs> oh, Libero down. Soldier remembers the fanny pack days. Ark brings it back up again. Self-destruct. Coming in. No kills out of that one, though. Bird ring is still unassailable up on this high ground. And he's got that dead eye now. Some pressure coming in. Fury has to back away though. Mecco rather. Murdering dropping down. There goes Mano. So Bedosin finds that one. It's high noon. Any kills under that? Nope. Ooh, I thought maybe it was going to be the highest in here. There's just going to be more headshots. Libero taken down. Burdering just on fire on this McCree this round. Burdering has been bullying New York in these choke points, bullying them on the control point, and hitting these shots that make it impossible for New York to control his positioning. No kidding. I mean, every time they try to get in on uh, Burdering, he's got a few tanks there to support him, and he's just doing so much damage. The accuracy just makes it hard to get there. So now we're heading into desperation territory for New York. Despite their ultimates, they couldn't even make any headway onto the point at all because of London's fantastic zoning. We saw London lose it at 99% on gardens. Let's see if they can change that here on city center. Nuss brings Bird Ring back from the dead. Prophet waiting for a place to put down that pulse bomb. A kill on Jonak certainly feels good. There it is, pulse bomb, no kills, they get out in time and Prophet trying to get in behind New York Excelsior again. Ark brings Jonak back to the fray. Meanwhile, Prophet, a little bit of pressure on those tanks. We're into OT, and Bedosin coming in with the transcendence. This is the time to push. Mano low health, tries to jump away. Did he actually make it? Crazy. Say Buildy gets a kill on Danas, and now New York finding a few kills here. And they're just trying to stall oh. it out, and Prophet was hiding. He wants to get a kill onto Samuel B in the back lines. Yep, that's right. Samuel B gets caught by the self-destruct. New York continues to try to grind for it, but now Fury really doing a good job of holding everybody off. Ark is down, though, so he's going to run. There's a DMEC. He's in trouble, and New York flips it. It happened again. London loses a point at 99%. And last time, we didn't see the best discipline. They wanted to take the point immediately again when they had right. time to work with. They were more aggressive with the Valkyrie. They ended up paying for it in the long run. And Ark is going to have a big Valkyrie advantage over Nuss this time. So it's going to be even harder. And this may be a longer point than we had originally fought here with London's initial dominance. Yeah, as it seems like it often is. Jonak on the high ground. The king of picks, the prince of picks, we call it that way. His shots always coming when you least expect them. Ooh. You can see right there, trying to catch somebody as they're coming around the outside of the yep. central pillar. Nuss walks the other direction. All right, Jonak dropping down 50%. Now for New York Excelsior, well, that's a lot of pressure. He's got to get the kill to Prophet. Ooh, the heals come in just in time. Nuss is Ark down. Is there. Nuss falls on the other side. Libero with the kill to Prophet, and New York pushing London back again. 
At this Dulla, there was so much time spent by London trying to figure out how to push their way into the point yeah. that New York got two thirds of it. And not only that, they get Nuss early. So it's going to delay his Valkyrie arc. Jonak, patient, waiting for London to commit to them before they use that. It's gonna come down to another final fight, just like we saw in Gardens. Well, both teams have both support ultimates, so it will be another crazy, huge ult fight here coming in. Samuel oh! B, Prophet hunts him down. He wasn't looking, and there was a crouch walk from Prophet around the corner, found himself right in front of Samuel B, and one clipped him. Liver on the run, get the heals, has to keep getting out of there. Oh man, but he's got a raging game. In the corner with a gesture, takes him down. Overtime, it's 99-99. And both Winston's going crazy now. Here comes a transcendence. That's gonna let Nuss get in there for a couple reses. Gesture brought back up again. Tagged as he walks by. That's gonna be Fury losing a lot of health on that mech. Nearly d -back. Now he gets popped out of there. Save will be turns around from the side. Nuss still healing with the Valkyrie, but it's over now. Meanwhile, both Separdons used on the New York side too. And it's just a, a brawl now. No just kidding. a brawl in the middle of the point. Samuel B. But Dosen down. That's one support out of the way. Nuss just trying desperately to keep London's hopes alive. But Dosen res one more time. He's low. He's down. Samuel B. Drops the pulse bomb. There's the a kill on the bird ring. There's a kill on the Nuss. And OT will soon start to tick quickly. There it goes. And New York Excelsior both times bringing it back from zero to 100 to win the round. They are up 2-0 in this finals. And as cool as what Samuel B did on that last point with the Tracer to clean up that fight, Mano knocked Bird Ring with Primal Rage off the map, which made him unable to be resurrected at the start. So there was an extended period of time with this Excelsior at a 6v5, which snowballed into that eventual fight win. Wow, Jonah to the Prince of Picks. More action coming up, guys, after halftime. Don't go anywhere. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network. Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. And by Intel, the official computer processor of the Overwatch League.
New York fans, make some noise, because your squad is up 2-0 right now. Great opening here for the New York Excelsior going up against the London Spitfire. Welcome back, everybody. It is halftime of the grand final for stage one. It's just the first of four stages, but there's serious money on the line. 125 k up for grabs, and now we know we're just one map away from New York taking the biggest chunk of this. Bren, let's start with you. You called London. I did. You called them to beat I... Houston, then went with Houston, and then London won. Now you've called London to beat New York. They're down 0-2 at the half. Do you want to flip again? Uh, I said the blue team would win. True. And there is a blue team currently winning. Factual. Factual. All factual. Are you going uh, with baby blue? But or? I am. I'm gonna. I'm getting jeered here. Listen, listen, listen. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Listen. I'll stick to my guns. I'm gonna stay with London. I am going to stay with London. He's been peer pressured. I haven't been peer pressured. I was going to do it before they started booing me and started unfollowing me on Twitter. But, like, I, I am going to stick with London here, right? It, I feel like they have the potential to turn it around. And these guys, I mean, Zoe dropped us with some insider information before she left. And it was fantastic. It was honestly, New York, they've been napping, they've been sleeping, but... Spitfire, right? London Spitfire, these guys were grinding. They were doing internal scrims between the six-man rosters they both got on the side. They were practicing, they were prepping for these maps. I feel like they've got it, they've got it in the bag. I feel like they've got it, they're gonna turn it around. They've already played so many games. You gotta remember, London played at 11 a.m. versus New York, then they just played against Houston. So is fatigue setting in Sideshow? Have you seen any signs of that early on for London? I don't think so particularly. I don't think London are playing particularly worse than they have done before. When you're playing against NYXL, there's a tendency to pick up the pace and try and play a bit more aggressive on Oasis as well. I think they they potentially had to, I don't really want to attribute it to a fatigue, but there were definitely some problems we saw them, as Monty was pointing out, when they're trying to re-engage into the control points. They set themselves up, they're on 99%, but then they can't get back in. I think uh, one of the big reasons is because you can't get onto Ark or Jonak, and Sabiobi, when he's set up and is in control of the territory, is just so good at that defensive Tracer v Tracer. So he kind of shut down both Prophet and Birdring on there. Let's jump into our first game in this series. Let's rewind all the way back to Junkertown, and you'll remember both teams succeeded in their attack. But it was New York who put up a faster time, and Pine on defense just well, he made us all throw up a little bit with that shot. Yeah, I was jumping up and down all over the place when he was doing that. That was his first four kills in the map, and it was uh, a consecutive absolute massacre in the back line. Wasn't just the Pine Show, though. We also saw a little bit of Mecco turning up as well. This guy had a great attempt. And London, they didn't just give up without a fight, right? Profit was definitely turning up on the Genji, as you can see here. He was pulling out multiple blades as well as Birdering, also putting in a decent effort. However, they kind of got overpowered as the, as the maps were going on a little bit. Yes, and when NYXL were on the attack, it was Pine and Jonah coming out with these picks again and again. Uh, Monty referenced it, the fact that these guys have three stellar Roadhogs on the roster. They also have Savi Orbi, so that makes four people who can all play Roadhog to a right. ridiculous level. And some of these 180 hooks we'd seen coming out of Jonak, it was like he had a homing missile on the end of it. What is this? And he's just easily able to pick people up. If this guy's a star. A star. It's crazy. Who had the biggest impact? Because Sabi Obi was on the bench for game number one, and New York walks away with the win anyway. Was it Pine on the DPS? Was it Libero, or was it the tanks? I got to say, I mean, I'm going to go with the tanks here, but not the tank you're thinking of, right? I'm going to be going with Jonak, Jonak on the road. Oh, I yeah. knew the one you were No, about. you didn't. You didn't. It, right. was, it was unheard of. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be going with Jonak, right? Because it takes a special kind of player to flex over to multiple roles and just play so, so well. Because the guy's already an incredible Zenyatta player. But the fact that he can go over to the Roadhog as well, they can run that sort of solo healer composition and still pull out plays that you'd expect to be seeing. You know, someone like Taimu playing on the Roadhog. Or maybe I'm going to throw out a couple of old names here. Snizzlenose has kind of fallen off the radar a little. <laughs> Bit. He used to be known for his road dog back in the day, but there's a reference. Yeah, there's a reference for you if you follow European Overwatch. But <laughs> <laughs> honestly, and I, yeah, Jonak is my answer to that one, Pucket. Proud of you, brother. Thanks. All right, let's talk about the second game because if you're London and if you lose this in less than four maps, you're going to be so frustrated that you threw game two away. You were up 99% and you let your opponent come back in back to back rounds here, Sideshow. Yeah, they did. And I think it was a decent strategy coming out from London Spitfire. Every time they started out with this Hog Diva kind of stuff. So when Mano comes in and he started out on the Winston, they mulched the tanks. But NYXL, they come back into it. And when they have Mano, Mecco, and Jonak throwing out damage along with the double hit scan, it's an overwhelming amount of damage that London Spitfire just can't seem to deal with. The suppression is unreal from 
So one of the things I put down to the fact that New York coming back into this and actually winning it is down to the, uh, the fact that they adapted on the fly in these games. Uh, it was very subtle adaptations. It was changing of the DPS heroes mainly. But they, when Birdering started popping off on the high ground on the uh, on the McCree, they switched over to a Winston Diva comp. Right, New York were ready. They were prepped for it. They started diving him and focusing down a lot more because they realised that was the problem. Birdering again tried to adapt. There was this little mind games, this micro play with the heroes that was kicking off. It was lovely to see from like sort of this macro level of gameplay where they were making these hero swaps. But ultimately, New York made the better swaps as the games were going on. And it was putting Sabiobi back on track at the very end as you guys saw he picks up four kills basically the pulse bomb will give them the win on oasis so now we've seen two games we could go all the way to a game six tiebreaker on Li Zhang. That's very unlikely. So let's talk about how this second half plays out, starting with you, Sideshow. Yeah, I think NYXL are favored on the maps, but if London wants to come back into it, I think we have to start seeing them focus a bit more on their defense. If they're set up in these positions and they can swap over to a Junkrat or something like this, force NYXL to attack, that's where they've looked slightly weaker. Because at the moment, London can't break through this stonewall defense coming out from the NYXL. So they need to shift something up in their style, I think. Brandon, you called London to win it all. I tried to get you to flip. You stayed with London. How did they come back and win three straight here in the second half? Well, he said. <laughs> Do what Sideshow said. That is the plan for London. We'll see if they can get the job done. Horizon is coming up next. London, send your energy. They need it. We'll find out if the players can get a big win. Game three coming up after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places.
They are one map away from being crowned the Overwatch League Stage 1 champions and getting that $100,000. Can the London Spitfire bring it back? Let's get into this last match and join our boys, Monty and Doa. All right, that's right. It is time for the crucial map right now because NYXL up two maps over London Spitfire. If they win this one, they are our stage one champions. They get that $100,000 London sent home packing. So if London wants to stay in it, this is a must win situation. And fortunately for London, we're in a place where they're playing on Horizon. This hasn't been New York's best map. True. They've run a lot of different strategies on it, but they actually haven't been able to push through to a lot of wins. They lost a soul on this map using quad tank, uh, I think a little bit excessively. Uh huh. Well, we'll find out if uh, any of the subs have an impact on that one. There is going to be one on the NYXL side. Janice coming in, subbing in for Mano in the main tank position. Yeah, interesting to see Jonas coming in. I don't think his role is going to be changing that much, at least on the defense. Probably still will be a lot of a Risa play on the point A defense, as we yeah. typically see. He's feeling a little bit more comfortable with his Arisa on this map, possibly, as we go to Horizon Lunar Colony, our assault map here in this best of five. Again, it's a little bit different than usual. You know, we've had a lot of four map series, right, where even if a team is up 3-0, we still play another map, but no, not this time. A not winner the... will be crowned. That's right, not in the finals, Monte Cristo. New York Excelsior could take home the prize on this map right here, right now. London on the verge of being defeated. They must win Horizon Lunar Colony if they want to keep this finals going. I think I'd like to see this finals keep going a bit more. Hey, they could draw it, though, I don't. Hey, we, there are several that options. That is true. <laughs> there are that several options. That is true. All right. We, well, you've killed the hype again. That's right. Thank you. Uh, that's what I'm here for. One last hype Re killing at the end of the stage. That's it. I'm a merciless hype destroyer. <laughs> the hype train just right off the tracks. Oh, well. New York Excels here on the defense. London Spitfire on the attack as we get things started. They're going for the Sombra strat. So looking to hack the health packs. Use that EMP to take a point. Yeah, we'll see if they can actually make it into position. It will be a low ground defense from New York on the point itself, so it's going to be harder to get this Sombra in position True. than normal. All right, Translocator dropped in the airlock there. Yeah, going to be running around. Once they get Fidocian invisible, going to be doubling back onto the Mega Health Pack. Yeah, Janice and Libero. Actually, not. Point. Janice is just going to get hacked right off the start of things, but huh, okay. there's no follow-up damage, so value there. Not too Crying. terribly high. He's going to come around the other side right now and look for a, ha a hack onto the mini. This is dangerous. Oh, into the back lines. Yep. Oh, he's taken up before he can translocate. Mecha right there to slap him down. And now Bird Ring really needs to hit some shots if they want to keep this push going. That was got to back off. That was a very questionable Sombra play. They knew they were already on the low ground. You can go for that pack if they're on the opposite side of the point on the high ground, but yeah. running into four, even if you have the translocator, is a dicey prospect. It is a bit on the risky side. Profit. All right, the ocean has the EMP, so this is going to be their time to shine. But everybody on New York is stretched out behind some of the terrain by the mini health packs. It's going to be hard to get a good one. Here they go, get Z. Gets in there, there's the EMP on the Jonak, taken out immediately. Oh, but he gets trapped. And that's going to be Sabio B with the revenge. Libero on the Junkrat comes flying in. Birdring finds the kill onto Ark here. So London trying to turn it around, but no, the kills from New York. Just seem like they're too much. Maybe Nuss with oh, the res Nuss. can change it, but I feel like that was a very optimistic Valkyrie. I mean, he's Ooh, coming I back know. in. Mecco was already d maxed so he's going to bring some more in. Profit's going to make it back, so it is a worthwhile Valkyrie in the end. They will take this point. Man, it's super close. Sabiel B tries to hold it, but I guess it's too late. And Man, Nuss really pulled that one out of the fire there. Yeah, he realized that they didn't have any supports left up, so he could safely use that Valkyrie because they would have a huge healing advantage and with a faster response coming in, yep. it was going to have some value. But they did use it just to take point A, and a lot of time was lost on the setup to that attack. A, a bit of a sloppy Sombra from the side of London. Fedosin back on the Zenyatta now, going into point B. NYXL nearly has both of their support ultimates ready to go. Libero, let's see what he can get with the Riptire. Fedosin with the pick onto Sabiel B. Here comes the Riptire. Oh, murdering. That was a it beautiful out. shot. It was chasing Prophet across the map. Yeah, saved his tracer there. 
Certainly did. Save will be back up now. So the respawn has occurred, but Janus Fury down. is going to punish Janice on the high ground. All right, Bird Ring has to back away. That self-destruct, a little bit of a scary thing to deal with. He's back in action now, taking shots. Can't find the kill on the Arc, though. Arc down to like 10 HP. He's super low right now. No ultimate to speak of. Meanwhile, Mecco gonna get d it looks like soon. Arc comes in with the double res. He made it through, but London Spitfire picking up some of the kills. Bird Ring trying to pick Arc out of the air in that Valkyrie. And going after Libero. Oh, and he gets taken down. London still, though, coming in with a lot of kills here. They've got New York Excelsior bo uh, bottled up back at spawn. I mean, Nuss is already on his second Valkyrie right now. And Ark is going to hop into spawn, but it's stalling it. time. They need to get out of that wall. Fury. Pushed back by I'll Fury. Bump them off. Nice bump with the D.Va. And so London will actually take point B with quite a bit of time remaining at the time bank. 4.25 to be exact. Very solid attack run for them. Absolutely. Patience there. So they knew coming into that second fight, it was going to be hard for them to commit because they had just used the Valkyrie. So they engage in an extended poke battle to rebuild up their support ultimates, force Ark's hand, and then commit once they have their own Valkyrie again. So right. pretty textbook in this meta as far as the dominance of Mercy play is concerned. And so that leaves New York Excelsior with the task of taking both points very quickly themselves if they want to put themselves in a good position to fight it out in time bank. Yeah, I have to give Bedoshin a lot of credit for that last push as well, leading his team with 12 eliminations. And that was part of the problem because he was getting the picks that forced the XL to use that Valkyrie in the first place. Yeah. Calling Jonak the Prince of Picks, which I think is a well-deserved nickname. Well-deserved, absolutely. But Bedosin saying uh, maybe he's the the Duke of Picks or something <laughs> like that, the Earl of Picks. <laughs> Gets a couple crucial ones himself from time to time. Yeah, certainly a minor, a minor noble. That's right. The Earl of Elimination. <laughs> That's it. That's what he was this last yeah. match. I agree. The Earl of Elimination. Sounds good to me. That's a nice Excelsior turret. Whoa! Close up turret action. <laughs> Arc. Be sure to buy Excelsior skins with your owl token. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> nice ad there. Yeah. I've got the Pine McCree, I admit. It makes me feel like I can do better on uh, control maps. I would just feel disappointed in myself, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Each time you buy a skin, it sucks a little bit of their ability out. No, be careful. <laughs> New York Excelsior on the attack. Here we go. London Spitfire opting for that high ground defense this time. Jess, you're going to try to pull some people in range for Bird Ring to cap him in the dome. So this will be the high ground defense this time. Yep. And we will go full pick with no D.Va and instead having Fury on the Roadhog. It will be against the Dive. So New York is going to get right onto that high ground. Now Bird Ring Low Health has to back away, jumps over to his Mercy, and they are going to go ahead and D-Mech and kill Mecco. Now we did see Janice jump in, but he took a lot of damage. He had to back away. And now they're going to go in and fight with their tanks. Jonak in a little bit of trouble. Bedosin finds a kill. The Earl of Elimination jumps up big. <laughs> and Birdring with the headshot onto a trap. Libero. There's nothing sadder than a trap, Genji. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it is true. Fur right, Fur Fur furiously attempting to deflect. And <laughs> just wait that, wait that cooldown out. Crying cyber tears. <laughs> Well, that was that was a, a nice initial attempt. Of course, you usually come in with a Winston first and cover the Winston with the D.Va behind with the defense matrix, but Provid already has that rip tire, so. Yeah. Here we go, the dive coming in a little bit more coordinated this time around, although Jonak, he's damage boosted. Oh, it was just a distraction. Janice was coming in all along, and now Bedosin down as well. Rip tire time, Profit tries her turn it around, doesn't work. Janice there to finish it off, but no, Profit decides, I don't need that ultimate. I, I can get kills just fine. It, it's okay. Jonak falls at the end. Whoa. It's only Ark and Janice left, so Whoa. they will beat a hasty retreat back to their base. Bird Ring swaps over to the Tracer now. I think he's a bit concerned that there might be a bit more pressure yeah. on the actual point itself, and he needed to make it back more quickly. So two minutes in the time bank for New York Excelsior. It's going to be harder to hold this high ground with the Tracer, though. Might be tricky. 
Fury taking a couple shots. Now Libero trying to come from behind. Fury gonna turn around, take a breather. Jonak down already. Profit got one kill here. Gesture brought back up by London. Trying to still keep defending both Mercies, bringing people back to the fight. Libero has a Dragon Blade. There's a Reflect, maybe a chance here to pull it out. If he can get into the back lines, he's waiting, waiting for that Mercy ult to end. There it goes. Fury with the kill to Janus. Arc brings him right back up again. Transcendence though, Libero coming in with a bit of protection from his Genji. The Dosa dead, he can't use that Zenyatta ultimate. And New York just carving through London. But not with a lot of time remaining, Doa, and they no. had to use it all. They had to dump all the ultimates on the point. And when you play this dive style, you want to snowball. That's the intention. Go ahead and charge up your Dragon Blade for the next attack. Wipe everybody on point B and get a blazingly fast time, but that's just not happening for them. Yeah, they would have to take the point in like 30 seconds to even equalize London's point. Ah, but look what they're doing. They're gonna play a high ground poke attack. So they go back to Libero on the soldier, like we saw on Oasis. Save you'll be on the McCree, and they're gonna hide behind this Orisa barrier. That's right. It's hide noon now for Save you'll be <laughs> until, definitely he, hide noon. until he builds up a little bit more. Stay behind the shield. The dive coming in. Goodbye, Birdring. Jonak, the Prince of Picks grabs another one. Birdring back in the fight, though. Profit down. Mecco with the double kill. New York jumps onto the point. This is it, man. They gotta try to take this in a hurry here. Oh, Bedosin has just enough time to pop that Transcendence as they try to stop New York from getting any more progress here. Uh, Sabiolbi is still firing away, however. Yeah, he's trying. Oh, he's succeeding. There goes Gesture. Sabiolbi running. Oh, takes a short detour to kill Profit here. Jonak down from the self-destruct, but not for long. Sabiolbi with a high noon now gets murdering. May be able to get a little bit more here. There's a D-Mech on to Fury. There's a kill on to Fury. Got him with a flashbang. It's a celebration. Libero coming around the outside, murdering back to the fight. But there goes Gesture. New York has been getting a lot of these kills, but a nice pulse bomb onto Jonak, and I don't think they can bring him back now. No, they can't do a Libero still. He's working his way up to a tactical visor, though. They, they got it. There's attack visor. Oh, but he's getting pushed around. Doesn't matter. Gesture down. Fury out of the mech one more time. Turns for the kill. Mecha with a self-destruct on the bird ring. And Nuss on his own. Trying to get Fedosin. It's a portal combat as London tries to keep the point alive with just Mercy and Zen. Gesture getting there just in time here. Same now he's still alive. Everything. Yeah, bird ring. Trying to delay, the delay has been very, very real. Lots of time getting eaten off the time bank by London. They're not swapping up these heroes though. Profit oh. is going to get stunned by his own flashbang. Goodbye, Sabiobi. Profit coming in though with that Dragon Blade. Gets Libero. Maybe that's the ticket, but no. Janice comes back with the kill to Nuss. Pedosa there with the Doom Fist. It's time. Time to fight it out, but no, he's gone. Mecha with another kill. A crazy delay That's from it. London, and that is finally it. <laughs> that is wow. finally it. Great delay Whoa. by London. I thought Profit had turned that around when he reflected the flashbang onto Samuel B and killed him. But they still come through with Ark, with the Valkyrie, at Two. the very end. Two minutes. 37 seconds on the clock for New York. So despite getting those two, those two points, London does manage to hold for a long time, nearly two minutes in that last hold. Crazy stuff. And I think you're, you're worried now if you're New York because it took you so long to break point A and your dive composition wasn't working out very well. A lot of advantages were handed over to London True. in the first couple of pushes, and they're going to be going with the same strategy. Why not see if they can do it again? And this strategy, the, I think the best way to play against it on this map is to run the Sombra, to run the Tracer, and try and force them off the high ground by threatening to cap the point itself instead of attempting multiple times to take the high ground and dive up there. Yeah. Who puts a couch right there, by the way? <laughs> where are you, where are you gonna relax and look at while you're sitting on that couch? Yeah, like, oh, that's a nice high ground there. Someone could really set up a nice defense. There's there. such nice windows uh, here to look out onto the moonscape, right? Where I want to lounge, that's right. Right next to the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go, New York on the attack one more time. 2.30 on the clock here. As they get started, they gotta go fast and furious. 
And uh-oh, that's a low health. Winston Janice down already. London with a good start. They're gonna send it New York packing. Now, Ark did get a lot of ult charge out of that, so a uh, somewhat hollow victory, perhaps, considering how fast the Valkyrie will charge overall, and Nuss isn't that far behind after just one push. Mm -hmm. well, we'll keep an eye on that, see if it grows at all. Yep. Oh, uh, Janice and uh, Trigger, it may be the word, as Janice dies again as he tries to dive in. The way New York is playing this is is very New York. So in space. Nope. every time they try one of these attacks, they basically throw their no. Winston at the high ground That's while damage move. boosting Jonak and saying, okay, Jonak, why don't you find somebody who's out of position and get the pick? Good luck. Janice comes in again, already down to half health. Oh, but from space comes Libero. Profit gets a kill on Jonak anyway. But London under some pressure on the high ground, bird ring forced away, trying to get out of there into the... Oh, Ark! A shot there. And maybe, yeah, looks like London's gonna defend again for now. Well, they're gonna have to pull back. Yep, Mecco. Oh, that's a that's a big stagger, actually, as there's only one oh. remaining here. Oh, that's Nuss got bomb, though. Nuss. Save Both Yubi. supports are dead. Actually, this is a big window all of a sudden for the New York Excel. Bird Ring has to back way off the point right oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. You can tell London, everybody else on that team backing away. They got to get the Mercy and the Zen back to the point as fast as possible here. Let's check out how he got that one, Bird Ring. Well, all right. Let's watch some more Widow picks. It's always fun. Hop up on the tire, and there's a shot. On the Libero, on the Jonak. Feels good, man. But meanwhile, the support's going down. And New York trying to get there in a hurry, but Libero falls. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to really capitalize on that. Oh, both Valkyries are up, but one resurrection has been spent by New York. Thanks to some Junkrat spam off the point. This is New York's last attack. Yeah, London has full support. Oh, Jonak got, got Nuss. What a huge pick before Nuss could use the Valkyrie. But Dosen pops the Transcendence, but the rest of his team still need to hold strong here. Zade will be down. Fury misses that hook, but there's a whole hog. Gonna try to go in. Gonna try to push Mecco back again. Down to two seconds here. Fury still standing for the moment anyway, but that's one tick, two ticks, and it looks like New York may just have point A here. Yeah, Jonak is rate. back. He's gonna be back with a Transcendence, so even though London's coming onto the point. Yeah, they're gonna try to hold it with the tanks, but... It's a little bit too little, too late, maybe. Although Nuss, he had that Valkyrie. He died early in the last fight, but now he's back with the Mercy. But oh, save you'll be with the kill. Fury down, and there goes Ark. Prophet, though, coming in on the junk grab. They've got the primal raging Winston gesture still there. London defending for now, and that's a couple kills. They'll do it. London will actually hold. Wow, that, they that will. was close. It was close. Nuss, in the nick of time, had a couple of tanks to resurrect on the point to stall it out for the rest of his team well, to weird, show up. Weirdly enough, Nuss dying early in that fight with Valkyrie up ended up kind of helping them in the end because he was able to come in with a much later support ultimate than either the other, uh, all the other supports had. Yeah, by that token though, they may have been able to full hold if Nuss had stayed alive. So, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. It wasn't a full hold. It was 69.3%, so a little bit over two ticks. Yeah, six of one, half a dozen of the other, you know. <laughs> you know how it goes. But at the end of the day, London with a lot of time in the time bank to just take part of point A. They only need a little over two ticks to win this map. And Bedoshin looking like he is choosing the Sombra once more. Okay. And I imagine we'll see the exact same style of defense from New York actually on the point because they don't have the Widowmaker running with the Tracer instead. Sabiolby did buy them a lot of time and they collapsed really well onto Bedoshin when he attempted to hack that mini health pack, but you'd hope that London will have learned and is going to try and hack that mega health pack and play around that on the right side of the map right there. Yep. Well, here we go, London. Coming out of the point. They're probably going to know exactly where yep. New York Excelsior is. I mean, Bedosha just goes straight in this time. Yep. Last time he tried to get some hacks off before getting the pack, did delay them on that first EMP. They're gonna try to protect this other health pack. New York knows what's up. They know that Sombra's sneaking around somewhere. Yeah, they're leaving just Janice and Libero yep. on the point itself. 
Well, Fury coming in, they get Libero. Gesture with the early pick here. Now Mono under a lot of pressure on that Arisa. Mecco backed out as well. London getting a little bit of time on the control meter already. Fury getting a lot of good heals here, actually. Has to back away eventually. Hey, Libero's respawn, but he's got a long walk back. Yep. Gesture brought back to life as well. Coming in. Nano again on the point. Whoa. All right, so there's Tracer being a bit annoying here. Libero's back now, though, there, and he's made it all the way back. Yep. Not too surprising. They've taken a lot of time. Janus does fall a profit with a big pulse bomb coming in. EMP. There's the res. That's right. Ark goes ahead and uses that Valkyrie, but the EMP from Bedosin, they need to capitalize on this. Fury down already, though. Brought back up again, though. Bedosin finished off. New York starting to swing the fight in their favor. And the EMP profit. the support still up, but they didn't capitalize on it. No. Jonox stays alive. And Ark was already in that Valkyrie form, yeah, so... And London says uh, they've had enough of that. Bedosin over on the Zenyatta now. No more somber shenanigans. They are going to just try to take this point the old-fashioned way with Dai murdering on the Genji. I, uh, New York, though, you can tell they're playing well. They never have most of their team within line of sight to get that EMP down. They're yeah. forcing London to make some difficult decisions about which players are going to get EMP. Whoa! Nice shot. Profit down after that big halt comes in. And London with a man advantage here on the defense. And remember, things are tense for London, too. If they don't win this map, they are not going to win this series. Libero takes out Birdring. New York still has a chance to finish it right here, right now. Ark, oh, taken out, actually. Gesture comes in with the Primal Rage. Two minutes remaining here, and it looks like New York is going to keep holding. Libero is murdering P Prophet in yeah. this match. Oh, the delay. Oh, no. This is going to be a long stagger oh, on the Fury. Fury with under two minutes remaining. Fury is what I'd be feeling right now if this were me. Yep, Libero finally finishes him off, but again, a massive, massive stagger. That's going to eat up even more time. London Spitfire down to about a minute 30. New York in a position to win this series. Well, that's Samuel a nice B. start. Samuel B was... All right. Oh. All right, here we go. London coming in. Libero needs a good rip tire. That's the no, near DMAC. Oh, man, I thought he might get him here. Art comes in for the res. So Samuel B and Janice back in action. Self-destruct. Coming in, doesn't catch anybody. Mecco taken out by Bedosin again. There's a big halt. Where's the follow-up damage? Janice backs up. Going to go ahead and try to stand strong, but he is down. London Spitfire jumps onto the point. They've got the big edge right now. There goes Ark, and they may have just barely done it. Desperation from New York. Jonak still there. Libero runs in, immediately taken down, and that will be at London. Will take Lunar Colony and keep their hopes alive in this series. I really liked the last switch from Bird Ring onto the Junkrat. Eventually, London realized that without an enemy Widowmaker and with Samuel be contained, they could just rain grenades into the point itself and break through that Arisa barrier sure. to get the initial pickoffs. So it came down to the wire. Only, a, you know, less than a minute separating New York Excelsior from a victory here in Overwatch Stage 1. But London will take a map. They are still in it. We'll be back with map four right after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. Intel, the official computer processor of the Overwatch League. And by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network.
to the Blizzard Esports Arena here for the Overwatch League Stage 1 Grand Finals. London Spitfire still in it with a win on Lunar Colony. Yeah, and a chance to either draw here or win it to extend our series even further. There still is a chance that we could go to Lijiang Tower if there's a draw on this map and then a win from London. So a lot of possibilities still exist in this best of five, which also yeah. could be six maps if we go to Lijiang. I know it's confusing. We've got a lot of Overwatch ahead of us. <laughs> Possibly. That's what we're saying right now. Nimbani will be our next map, going for the hybrid map. And we do have a sub, actually, on the London side of things. Rascal in for profit. I think this is a really interesting substitution. What this probably says is that they want to play Farah and Soldier on Numbani. Not but too it, surprising, I it may, Yeah, it's not too surprising, but it may also limit their ability to play Genji. So if they have to play a dive attack on point A, which is a relatively common occurrence, they may not have exactly their best player in for it. Sure. I definitely agree with you there. But London, we will see if they can maybe tie up this series with a win on Dembani. That would be pretty crazy, but it would also be exactly what we've come to expect throughout the day here. Every single match pretty much going to the last game, almost. And Not maybe, quite the last one, but you know. Maybe we will get that reverse sweep, Doa. Hey, who knows, man? Stranger things have happened. We are getting ready to rumble. London on the attack one more time. New York Excelsior will be on the defense. And we've seen this from New York before. We saw this uh, with, with Jonak on the Ana on defense when they played against Houston. And they did full hold Houston on Numbani. And Jonak's position, positioning was quite dynamic. He was... Yeah running all over the place, trying to find some angles, or on da against Dallas, excuse me, that was the Dallas match, um, where they were trying to find some angles to use the biotic grenades, and he was shutting down quite a few of the approaches from Dallas on attack. Right. Back on the Ana one more time, and Rascal will be playing that Farah here, so it will be a bit of Farah v Farah, as Libero will have that on the defense. Here comes London. I mean, you're definitely expecting that if Rascal's in this match. That's really the only reason to play him here. Probably not going to see any of his weird specialty heroes like May on Numbani. There was a time where we had a crazy Bastion May boost strat on uh, Numbani. That, that was Libero, though. I, I was going to say, I, I know, but I'm saying it did exist. It definitely did exist. Did. Yeah. So the initial poke coming through. Both these teams, Jonak and Ark, have been forced onto the low ground now. Alpidosin down early. Echo draws first blood here in favor of New York Excelsior. Rascal still trying to fire through those narrow chokes here. Yeah, they're going to measured approach. Yeah, they're trying to just zone out Bird Ring right now. Well, here comes the dive. Okay, Janus going in, forcing Rascal to back up just a little bit here. But now the shots come in from Jonak. He's been forced out into the open, and Jonak does not miss much on the Ana. No, he doesn't, and they haven't managed to actually push out the supports here, so the stream yeah. of healing has been constant from oh, the side of New York. There's a stick. Can he get the D-Mech, though? Not quite yet. On to Sabiel B. Whoa, that's brave. Not sure if that was intended, but Sabiel B going wild with the Nano Boost. Can he get the kill? Oh, that Pulse Pop coming in! Oh. A tag on the gesture. There's a res immediately from Nas as he goes ahead and uses the Valkyrie. Some massive overkill from a nano boosted pulse bomb. I do not know if that nano boost was meant for Savio B. I kind of have my doubts, but London, no doubts about the picks that are coming in, although Libero does take down Rascal. There goes Bedosin. So, New York kind of grinding this one back into their favor. Ark using the Valkyrie to bring up Libero and Janus again, and Gesture a little bit on his own, on the point, needs to get more of his teammates there. There's no and supports no, left from London, he Dulles, get out so of there, yeah. he's going to take a double jump as the Primal Rage oh, ends no. back towards his spawn. Fury got demacked at the very end of that. Little bit of a staggered spawn for London to deal with. That's annoying. And Chodak has been doing so much healing. He started that fight with the Nano Boost, and he has another Nano Boost again. Yeah. You talk about this guy's Zenyatta a lot, but his Ana is actually very, very good too. He's done no more healing than Nuss so far, and he's done three times as much as Bedoshin. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Tracer battle, Samuel B down to 12. He's going to go ahead and recall. Sneaking around. Janus is nano boosted right now. Uh, again, wow, yeah, Libero. Oh, that's a problem. Janus in the air picks us out of it. New York 
eliminates the Mercy. And Nuss, now Pitocin, wow, Bird Ring has fallen. And Jonah getting very aggressive here. Uh, this has been a great map for New York. And yeah. right now, London can't find their way to any of these support kills because Jonak and Ark are playing so far back on the low ground that every time they try and go in, the members of New York collapse backwards into the choke point and end up punishing them. Now, all they used that time was really the nano boost, and they drew out the transcendence. So now we're 50 seconds. London Spitfire has no support ult above 50%. Well, Ark should have Valk too. Yeah, he's going to have Valkyrie very soon. Libero with the barrage. New York Excelsior in a great position to full hold here. If they can just pull it off, they will have all but guaranteed themselves a oh, win in no. the map. But there goes Gesture. Save will be down in return. Bedosin with a pick. Libero turns his sights on Nanus, who takes a rocket. One more. Gets him. Libero with the fade away mid-air rocket. And that is going to be the Mercy eliminated from the fight. No res is coming in from London. Rasko with the barrage, but no kills with that one. New York looking pretty good. 15 seconds remaining. A last ditch desperation attack coming in from London. They got to get to the point. There's another nano boost. The third on the Janus. He is going to jump in. But Dosen on his lonesome transcendence. He's got to get to the point. They got to get there. Overtime ticks. They actually started it. They need to grind this fight out now, though. Yeah, Rasko with the kill Janus. Janus. So there's Ooh, a good big. start for them. Save will be on the Bedosa. Nuss immediately reses him. Save will be down. And it looks like London may actually be coming back in this fight. Man, it was two seconds. And they got on there during OT. They will get the payload moving. Barely avoiding getting full held. And Nuss got his Valkyrie at exactly the right time Crazy. to make that push happen. Jonak. Now has to switch to the Zenyatta himself. Libero will be on the Soldier 76. So back to a more standard composition. Bird Ring surprisingly may stay on this Junkrat. Well, it's been a good hero these days. We'll see if he can make it work here on point B, Nimbani. Less only about uh, two minutes, but this point is one that almost nobody gets held on. New York wants to change that one, though. Is they going to jump in Janice low? Janice? A lot of trouble, has to pop that Primal Rage. Bedosin taken out here. Good start for New York in the fight. Rascal zoned out pretty effectively here. The tanks are all over oh, the front line. Janus. Janus gotta be careful, man, to get low. Jester takes him out. His Primal Rage drawn out now. Pulse Bomb onto Nuss as Samuel B takes out Mercy yet again. Here comes the self-destruct, I believe. Yeah, Mako, can he get back into the mech? He does indeed. Can he make it back to his healers, Ooh, though? And yes, know. he can, so. Samuel B dies to Bird Ring around the corner. Bird Ring needs to use the Rip Tire now because they've been stalled for so long. Libero got it! Oh wow, he got it. And a minute now gone off the attack for London on point B. That was a good stall by New York. They're gonna come into this fight with Attack Visor and a Valkyrie. Yeah, they could do one more defensive fight here on point B, but they've already held about as much as you can hope on this round. Another chance to stop it though, to stop the attack from London right now. Rascal with that attack visor though, and Janus diving in. Has to back away. Ooh, Jonak really low. Potosin gets the kill onto Janus. That's big. Ark pops to Valkyrie for the res, but here comes attack visor. Rascal, he's been saving it for this moment. D-Max Mecco, Transcendence coming in now for London to make sure they can keep pushing. Rascal on the run a little bit, but they could just take this fight. Janus backing out. And they've nearly got it. They're so close. Two minutes remaining. Pulse bomb for Savio be not getting anything this time. The heals from Nuts too strong and Bird Rings. Oh, his Rip Tire taken up by Libero again. The Helix Rocket doing work and everybody swarming on the payload. Samuel B is going to help get help to finish off the kill on the Bird Ring from Janus. Yeah, Fury trying to just hold on the payload. The tanks doing everything they can. Gesture still there for the moment. We're into OT. Fury d -Mac. He's Mini Diva. He's charging forward. He gets batted down by Janus. Overtime bar going away quickly and New York Excelsior will hold on Point B. Just before the end of point B, Primal Rage used to make sure no one was going to be able to touch the payload at the very end, draw that out any longer than it had to. Very strong defensive play from the side of New York, and it's gonna be trouble for London to win this map. Yeah, that is certainly cause for concern. You know, like we said going into it, like we've seen many times already in stage one, 
you do not get stopped on Mbani Point B very often. So certainly, London has to be sweating a little bit. New York excels here. All they need to do is push the payload to where it stopped for London, and they will be our stage one champions. London still with a chance, though. They have a similar hold on point A. This is doable. Definitely. The body looks nice. I want to go uh, relax yeah. there after the matches. Yeah, it's beautiful. It? Yeah. Go, go on for a, a little bit birds. of a safari. Those aren't birds, though. They're actually giant bats. So, <laughs> so watch a little out. Back, That's actually. right. <laughs> Everyone was wondering. <laughs> there are a lot of giant bats in the future. Yeah. Global warming and all that. Now we've got, uh, you know, hyper-intelligent gorillas. Why not giant bats? <laughs> <laughs> not as relaxing as I thought, but they're very nice bats. Oh, they're not vampire bats? No, no, no. Okay. They're welcoming, uh, big, beautiful, happy bats. <laughs> okay, that sounds great. Yeah. What else sounds great, though, is Rascal <laughs> on the Junkrat. So we'll be trying to put some spam down through the main choke. And we'll see how well they can adapt to any other approaches. New York, they just want to go for... This dive again. It, why not? It, it, it wasn't. Well, why not? Is it wasn't great for them on Horizon. Hey, but why not anyway? <laughs> Here we go. New York Excelsior on the tack, trying to dive to get the win. Mecco needs healing. What else is new? Time to go in. Approaching it a bit cautiously, though, looking for that chance to jump up on the high ground. Rascal needs to be careful that he's not caught out. He's alone on the high ground. If they can get a couple of tanks up there, he could be in trouble. Yeah. Could be dangerous. They're going to go after him. Oh, yeah, Rascal, they have identified, but he does not get out. Can they get to him? They got to jump on the body. They got to deny the res. Gesture jumped they away at the last second it. here. No, they can't. Save will be down, though. Bird Ring did find the pick on the Widowmaker. Gotta be careful here, but now London Spitfire already taking nearly two ticks as London comes back on the point right now. New York trying to keep the push going, but the kill's coming in for London. Libero getting zoned out, can't quite get back on the Widowmaker. And it looks like London could hold. We'll see if New York can extend this push. It's gonna be tough. Jonah getting uh, a couple kills. No, Ark Fury wants to go for the Valk, actually. Ark, wow, I can't believe he actually went for that. That's crazy. I really don't know about that Valkyrie there. And now Jonak using the Transcendence. They're not giving up yet. No, they're not giving up at all. Libero has made his way back into the melee. The tanks were quick. They got back there. But now Libero and Janus down again where the res is. Thus brings Gesture back. That's not the res New York was looking for. And now Ark just trying to escape. Both support ultimates used. And they didn't really gain anything more than they did in that very first push. Well, he didn't do a... Gonna take a look at a replay here from Bird Ring, who managed to take out Libero right as he got back into the thick of things. Well, Bird Ring had a, oh. ooh, not bad. Bird Ring had a lot of space to work with on that Widowmaker. We saw uh, Rascal, or uh, rather Bird Ring, I think, try to get back to him. I'm sorry, Libero tried to get back to him and got zoned out very effectively. Yeah, that was a great re-engage by London. And now Libero, he'll be happy though. He's got the Dragon Blade. There isn't a Transcendence. There isn't a Valkyrie. So right. maybe he can do something with this. We'll find out. Riptire time. Rascal looking for victims here. Oh, and he finds Libero. All right. Well, where are the reses? Can Nuss get him up? We will see. No. I, uh, they, they can't. Look, not back there. No. Not back there. No. There's no way they're going to resurrect that one. That was exactly the right target yeah, for the Rip Tire from Rascal. You know, they Janus. know the Dragon Blade is up. Genesis used the Primal Rage, and Nuss did get taken down. There goes Bedosa. Jonak with a crucial pick there. He's going to go ahead and pop that uh, that Transcendence. And here comes a Dragon Blade. Maybe this is going to be Libero's time, but no, taken down. Another defense from London, still fighting it out, but it looks like they've held again. There goes Janice. And this is a great defense from London. The yeah. only time Libero had to use that Dragon Blade was right then. Bedoshin had just died. Now he's going to be coming back with the Transcendence. Are they going to keep with this, this Genji? It really has looked unspectacular from the side of New York. Yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't been impressed. I, I think London's done a great job of zoning out that Kenji 2 and Bird Ring. This picks off Jonak. Hey, Zen, you were alone in the hall, man. That was bold. I mean, you, you don't are... expect the Widow to be there. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so, but that's a dangerous duel to take. 
All right, so 30 seconds. New York Excelsior with maybe one more attack here to try to take point A. Otherwise, London Spitfire is going to tie this series up. Say, Bielby needs to find a good target for this pulse bomb. Yeah. They have to work through two defensive ultimates on the side of London. Bird Ring, it's been a shooting gallery for him. He's had free reign this entire defense. All right, Rascal with the rip tire, trying to deny this push before it starts. Jonak gets the tire, though. Crucial pick again from the Zenyatta. Sabiel B gets at the back lines. We're into OT, another tick taken by New York already here. Sabiel B ducking, weaving, building up the pulse bomb. But now they've got the first support ultimate out of the fight. Libro does go down, though. Gesture gets one. Transcendence used. Oh, he's going to go ahead and stick bordering. There's one. Gesture. Getting a little bit low, but Bedosin, can he get him? Can he get him? No, not quite. Sabiel B has to back away. Looks like London may have this one. Yeah, there goes Art Birdring with the snipe. And in OT, I just don't know if they can get this payload going. No. It's just Jonas with the primal rage, Doa. Yeah, but there's the self-destruct, and he can't get back on the point. London Spitfire will tie up this series. And that's going to send us, Doa, to Dorado. The map that we saw earlier today between London and New York, and it was a Spitfire victory. True. So Spitfire wins Nimbani. They're going to a map they won earlier today despite losing that earlier match. It's about as tense as it gets here for New York Excelsior. A strong start, a 2-0 for them, but then London Spitfire bringing it back. Will we see the reverse sweep might be, either way, a crazy end to what's been a crazy day here at Overwatch League. We're not done yet. Don't go anywhere. Another map coming up after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile, America's best unlimited network. Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. And by Intel, the official computer processor of the Overwatch League.
Well, guys, it has been an absolutely epic series here today, and it continues to be insane. We are tied up 2-2 between London Spitfire, New York Excelsior, New York winning the first two maps, London winning the next two maps, and now we go to Dorado, what should be the decider map for our finals here today. And on that note, London, the team to actually win it when these two teams played this very map earlier today. And I can't watch any more of this dive attack from New York, though. I, they just have been uncoordinated. And even their support ults True. have been pretty poorly timed on the last couple of maps. As we see, Profits will be coming in uh, for Rascal. Indeed. Swapping Rascal out, Profit back in again. Makes a lot of sense, I would say. Yeah, you're not, gonna, you're not going to need any kind of really far a play necessarily on this map. I think yeah. when you have the chance to go to the Genji instead, that's going to make a lot, little more, more sense on uh, on uh, Dorado, rather. Sure enough. So while we wait for Profit to get his settings all perfect, let's check out some highlights from Nimbani. See if he'll be, hey, flying monkey, taken out of the air. I'm sorry, he's a scientist. The flying scientist. That's right, flying scientist taken out of the air. Yeah. Well, it was a strong initial defensive effort from yeah. uh, the New York Excelsior, which made their collapse on their attack all the more Ooh. puzzling. They committed very hard to using the Genji, but they never actually put any pressure onto Bird Ring on the Widowmaker. So he had a relatively easy time of it on that defense. Yeah. What do you know? But uh, just more than anything, NYXL, you know, we kept seeing Libero just try to get into the back lines, try to get onto, the, onto Bird Ring, onto Widowmaker, and he got denied time and time again. That's beautiful, actually, the kick on the tire there at the end. But gotta kick some tires once in a while, yeah. Gotta kick the tires, make sure everything's working okay. In that case, it wasn't. You kick the you tire, falls away. That's that 11 yeah. right there. Indeed. Nimbani goes the way of London Spitfire. We're going to Dorado for what could be, what should be, what will be, what dare will I say. Be. What will be our final map here in Overwatch League Stage 1. The finals all come down to this. And I hate to bring up the ghosts of the past, Doa. Okay. But the core of New York Excelsior is a little team that was formerly known as Luxury Watch. True. And Luxury Watch had a history of choking in playoff matches. A lot of times we thought yep. this was going to be one of the best teams in the world, and they never did find that Apex Championship, whether they had some injuries with their players. They have a lot of new players right now on this roster, that's for sure. But I, I am getting a bit worried for them. Yeah, you do wonder. I mean, one looks historically at uh, where these guys have come from, like you said, and yeah, those high pressure matches have sometimes been a bit tough to overcome for the crew here on New York Excelsior back in their time in Korea in those early Apex seasons. And those later Apex seasons, frankly. Really all the Apex yeah, seasons. Pretty much all, all four so far, yeah. <laughs> they pretty didn't much. actually, they didn't compete in the fourth one, but yeah. in any case, we are going to see Orisa Junkrat and Save will be on the Widowmaker. Okay. London Spitfire getting ready for their attack. Those oh, weren't to us. I thought 76 cleared those guys out. Is that a, a shrine to the desert, I guess? <laughs> Why not? The desert's a beautiful place, though. Sure, I suppose. Oh, that's nice, Genji. Everybody's so positive in this spot. I know, yeah. And then like, the murdering began. <laughs> you know, it's like, guys, the finals are on the line. No more small talk. It's time for the action to begin. London Spitfire, New York Excelsior. It all comes down to this. Let's get going. And it's going to be oh, time. Oh, gesture. How did you die so quickly? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a combination. Combo. It was a combo of some damage boosted Zenyatta and Widowmaker. That'll do it. That early res having to be used by Nuss there as the payload starts rolling. So that'll be a subtle delay, but a fun one. Mecha's hiding around the corner, preventing the payload from moving. They just oh, figured it is, out. That is dirty right there, man. Every second will count here on Dorado. Jonak with already some nice ult charge, courtesy of the volleys that he tossed into Gesture's gorilla body. <laughs> True enough. Tossing the orbs into the gorilla body helps you build the ultimate. Helps you tenderize the gorilla for later, Doa. <laughs> Sentences no humans have ever said before. Libero down, Fury with early kill there. 
And now New York bottled up into this hallway here. London trying to take advantage. Art gets the res. But they've broken the hard point, and now they're trying to reset the Orisa shield. Oh, Birdring down. Sabiel D with an ult. Sabiel D looking for more picks from the high ground here. Prophet trying to push. Sabiel D got the kill on the gesture, too. This Widowmaker, they need to do something about it. Yeah, they're trying they to. Yeah, he jumped have. up there to try and dislodge him from the high ground, but Jester ate some more Widowmaker shots on the way up and couldn't get the job done. So, dumped to Prophet right now. Combined with Gesture and Fury to deal with Sabiel B, but he is in the Infrasight. Yep. And that's gonna be another stall. So, a lot of time already down here for the London Spitfire. Pretty much uh, two Mercy. Oh, no! Oh, Nuss! Nuss taken down by Sabiel B, and they need that Mercy up. He doesn't even have Valk oh. There goes Gesture. And again, Sabiel B just untouchable on the high ground. And this is a bit of a different strategy from New York. How often do we see Sabiel B damage boosted instead of Jonak? But that's what they're going for this time. And how can you blame them? Oh, no! Lindero. He's hitting his shots. Profit. The late kill on the Profit. Another delay. And that's more time taken away from London Spitfire to try to complete point day. It'd be crazy if they actually got held here. I, I can't imagine. And it's been no ults besides the Widowmaker ult used yet for New York, Doa. Nas is going to be coming back with a Valkyrie to match that of Ark. And Bidoshin. Oh, here we go. That's right. The ult fire coming in. Save will be brought back up, of course. Libero waiting for it. Buying Barrier down. The Barrier comes. Tire does a little bit of damage to the... Diva, but that's about it. Bird Ring does go down. Liberal finds him with the trap. Nuss with the res. He's popping that Valkyrie. Run, Janice, run. Oh, he can't get away. And that's a double kill for Fury. On that self-destruct. Now the res has come in via Ark and Prophet. Has the Dragon Blade out on the London side. Nuss down. Mecco pushing ahead. The other Mercy falls for New York. Fury gets Jonak as well. That's two support kills. And London will push through to the end of point A. Fury tossed his Diva mech into the building on the side of the point. Jonak had a bit of a panic moment there yeah. where he used his transcendence. And yet his allies, of course, still died inside to the damage. He survives, but just not enough people left over yeah. to handle the situation or delay any longer. Three wow. minutes left to get to point B now for London. Yeah, the Prophet swapping over to the Tracer now. Murdering still on that Widowmaker. Sabiel B on the Widow as well. I should say Murdering switching to the Widowmaker. Going for the sniping duel. And ooh, there's a shot. Takes him in return. Doesn't want to go over to that health pack. That's a dangerous health, dangerous health pack to go for here. Still looking to try and get oh, the shot to is. land one. Yeah, winning that duel versus Birdring, and now the payload moving forward. Jan is taken out by Bedosin, and London Spitfire starting to steamroll things here a bit. That was some excellent execution from London. As soon as the Widowmaker was done, they dive onto the high ground. They know Chester's going to double back, so they damage boost Bedosin on the Zenyatta and get the monkey immediately to continue that engagement. Yep. And it's been smooth sailing through the streets phase on Dorado. Definitely. Yeah, barely stopped at all by New York so far. They've got another defense coming in, though. We'll see what they can do. Libero drops to the low ground. There goes Janice. Benosin with a kill there. Ark brings him back up again. New York trying to stay alive, but they're just losing people too quickly. Murdering, free firing, unopposed. Support ultimates used. Both of them on the NYXL side, kind of at the same time, actually. And now Birdring starting to get zoned a little bit. Kept up by the Transcendence, he'll be okay. And they're still trying to push forward. Libero roasted by the Lightning Gun. And a final blow onto Janus, courtesy of the Widowmaker. And that is now point B. London Spitfire has not been stopped. And no, and they still haven't pressured Birdring either. This has been, again, like shooting fish in a barrel for Birdring. Seriously. Finally, at the end of that, Mecco was able to disrupt him slightly. But he still had the easy time of it. Bedosian at Bird Ring. A lot of the early picks, they were held up momentarily on point A. Yeah, the big deal here, too, is Nuss has the Valkyrie. They've got that Mercy Ultimate. Oh, and there's a shot on the Libero for Bird Ring. It's going wild on this Widowmaker right now. Coming around the side. Look out, Jonak. Get some heals. Shots coming under Birdring. He needs to back away. Oh, but there's a shot on the Ark. 
Medosin brought back up by Nuss. He's going to go ahead and use the Valkyrie. They're going to start pushing here. They're going to start attacking and now Bergering. They got to do something about this guy. Nobody's there to touch him. He's free firing into the back lines one more time. He's just payload unstopped. He's just setting up that crossfire, Della. He knows where the arc is going to be. He's going to be there sitting, damage boosting Jonak. Yep. Punished his positioning once again. Fires a couple extra shots as the members of the Excelsior reconvene. And here coming in again. There's a protection for Nuss as Fury gets in to intercept. Janice kills him anyway. The Mercy down on the London side. There goes Bedosin. So New York, full support's eliminated. Can they push the rest of them back now? Yeah, I think they can. Bird Ring running forward. That's going to be the reset. London still with a minute 25 on the clock here. And a huge advantage in ultimate. So maybe they can hold, Bye. maybe New York can hold this right now as Fury heads down to a trip at the beach. <laughs> the fast way. I don't recommend that way to, no. to travel to the beach. Yeah, sand is kind of soft, but it's not that soft. He thought he could make it in the ocean. He was very confident about his jumping skills. Well, Sabi will be now on the side, wanting to use this Pulse Bomb. There isn't a Valkyrie. There isn't a Transcendence for Bedoshin. Okay, there's the Pulse Bomb thrown in. Libero with the Dragon Blade, Nuss down already. New York winning this defensive fight handily. Maybe they can, no, no bringing it back. Not from that. One more push for London. That's all they've got to try to get the payload to the end of Dorado here. And one more push. Nuss has to be super careful that he's not going to die before his Valkyrie comes up. Both support ultimates saved for New York. Ooh, and Libero with the swap over to the Junkrat now. Trying to just throw a bit more spam into the chokes. Trying to get some of those easy kills. Any pick here, any pick at all, would be big for New York. He's also wary because Bird Ring has switched to the Genji, so they right. want something that'll be able to trap oh, them. Oh, we got him! He got him! Libero swapping to the Junkrat, getting the pick on a Nuss, and it's desperation from London. They're pushing in, they've got the Transcendence, but they need a ton of kills. Bird Ring going down, that's another for New York. We're into overtime, and London getting pushed back, but now turning it around a little bit, but not enough. New York, they have the Valkyrie. They've got their Mercy alive. But Doshin was on a flank. They actually have to double back to pick him off right now before going back to the payload. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, overtime ticking. Can they get anyone to the point? Just barely. Arc zoned out a little bit here. London Spitfire trying to get people back. Nuss came back with the Valkyrie. Murdering with the double. Oh, boy. He's got the triple. And could he turn it around with the Mercy? There's the self-destruct, though. They need to keep people on the point. That OT bar is dropping so fast right now. And they've lost profit. They've lost Nuss. New York down for the moment, but they are coming back with a vengeance now. London trying to turn it back one more time. Maybe they can do it. Janice down, Mecco out of the mech. He'll go down soon too. Bird ring cutting away at New York, but Gesture taking out the tank, eliminated with the pulse bomb. Bird ring clinging for the life of his team's attack round. There goes Fury. Profit soon to follow, maybe. Yeah, there goes Profit trying to stay alive. Here comes Nas. He's on the Lucio now. It takes away. And a valiant effort from London, but New York will prevent them from completing their attack run. Still, you had to be really worried because the fights have been going with Nuss coming in late in overtime yeah. with the Valkyrie available. And London has been able to get a lot of room, a lot of movement on payloads, a lot of control percent in those scenarios. This time, they don't get it despite their best attempts with a big 3K off of a Dragon Blade. Man, I really thought it was gonna turn around there for a second when Prophet came in, he had the Mercy healing, he had yep. the 3K with the Dragon Blade, but it just wasn't enough. They didn't have enough people there. Well, also massive credit to Sabiel B, who managed to stay alive for an unearthly amount of time on that payload, zipping around yeah. and keeping his team in this game. So, London Spitfire, nearly gets the payload all the way there. So they still have a good chance of holding, a good chance of defending and winning, not just this map, but the entire Overwatch League Stage 1 Finals. New York Excelsior, all they need to do is get the payload just to the end of point C. They don't even need to complete the map, and they'll be the champions. So it all comes down to this round right here, right now. A final round and a final map between London Spitfire and New York Excelsior. 
Both teams fighting it out. London Spitfire a little bit harder than most as they've had to play an extra best of five today just to get this far. This is their 14th map of Overwatch today, Doa. It's crazy. <laughs> Talk about stamina. When it comes down to days like this, you know, yeah, the flashy plays are big. Yeah, the strategy is good. The execution matters, but it's really about the stamina. We're talking about a little bit of physical stamina, a lot of bit of mental stamina right now to keep your head in the game after the wins, after the losses. It's crazy. If London can win here, that is amazing. And what we're going to see to start things off oh, is a quick Burbank. shot on to save BLB. And they are going for the Genji Tracer dive again, Doa. It didn't really work on Horizon. It didn't really work on Numbani, but I'm maybe down. they can make it work here. Drop it up. And like the graphic says there, man, New York's only loss on Dorado came to London earlier today. It's got to be on their minds as London eliminating this attack right now. New York has to back away. Right, who's going to stop Birdring at this point in time? He has been a monster in the maps that London has won on the Widowmaker. Has the infrasight up already. They're not going to contest anymore on the high ground. They want to reset. They've already gained Libero. about a minute. Oh, Libero, you are bold and sneaky. They know he's behind them. London, no, that, that Cyber Ninja is back there somewhere. Got to watch out the back lines. Bird ring looking for it. Going into the high ground. Yeah, you got to watch out, man. He's around there somewhere. You can't see him. We know he's back there. Oh, oh. The infrasight oh. is down, so he's not going to be able to track that one any longer. Yeah. But he has provided quite the distraction. No kidding. If you're birdering, you really need to be careful here. So if you're New York, you need to take advantage of this. Now they're pushing in. They're going to send in Janus. And birdering back away now. That's the time for the Genji to strike. And Libero gets the kill. Mission complete. The payload moving forward. They've got the man, adva the man advantage now. Libero rejoining the fight here. Firing from behind. The payload's still moving. They've got London pushed back into the building. We're gonna try and move forward right now. Libero dangerously close to that Dragon Blade. He wants it immediately. Yeah, I guess pushed him back a bit when he uses it. Dashes in for a kill in the Fury. There's Bedosin picked off by Birdring. They've lost a lot of people already, though. Jonak coming forward with that Zenyatta. He gets the kill on the Widowmaker, and they will take point A. It took a while, Doa, and they got the Valkyrie out of Nuss, so a big win. The fact that it, they set up so deliberately and Libero was evasive for so long made Bird Ring unsettled. Also, Jonak had an ability to get some damage onto it from that angle because the rest of the London Spitfire were pushed inside the buildings. Yeah. So not only did Bird Ring die alone, there was no possibility of a Mercy Resurrection either. Hello, Riptire, Janus gets picked by Prophet. London coming back on the defense, that's their ticket set up more solid point. Uh, Libero was trying to creep on the high ground, but has to go back to his team as they wait for Jonas. Indeed. New York, a lot of ultimates to work with here as they attack. Uh, Nuss only at 28% is absolutely huge. Right. Using that in the losing battle may be a big difference in the amount of time that they can buy here on point B. Yes, indeed. Bird ring. Oh, there's a shot. Got to get out of that self-destruct, though. Oh, Bedosin gets caught. Mango gets him with the self-destruct. Bird ring fires away. There's Sable will be. Another res comes in. Yep, Sable will be brought back up again. Nuss goes ahead and gets the res onto Bedosin. Yeah, but they can't get back to Libero right now. And Ark oh, is killed Ark. by Prophet, who is still standing on the top of the courthouse. Well, he got the trap onto Ark somehow. Backing away now. You have to take that wipe instead of committing the Mercy Ultimate at that stage. When both of your DPS have died that deep into enemy territory, there's really not much you can do about it, particularly when yeah. you have Prophet on the jump rack continuing to zone you out on the high ground. Yeah, that's way too bold. Prophet's still looking for more victims here as London tries desperately to hold New York. The payload's moving, though. Libero's all the way in the back lines again. He is on such a long flank right now. He's been doing this, man. Prophet coming in, and, and he kills out of this one. Oh, Ark and Jonak! The support's feeling a bit tired after that one. It's just nowhere for them to go. That was a terrible pun, but I don't care. <laughs> it was. I had a good time with it. <laughs> London Spitfire continues to hold. 
And we're just waiting right now if they can pull off some sort of miracle here. They only have two minutes, and yep. they still have yet to find a point of weakness, a way to stop Bird Ring and Profit. And New York scrambling a little bit here. Here comes Abiel B. He wants to change it right now, going in after Nuss. Ark, the one who falls, so Profit with the pick under the mercy. And Sabiel B has to rejoin the rest of his team. He couldn't find the pick he wanted to. Libero down as well. That was the push they wanted. The Valkyrie down once again. Due to the death of Ark, he will be coming Jonak. back with it charged up. Jonak trying to get away. Birdring looking for those shots through the eye of the needle, but no. Has to back away. Only a minute left. Yep, and Libero nearly has that Dragon Blade. If anything can break New York out of this stall, it's gonna be him. He's gotta but time he... it so well around the support ultimates that well, London has up, though. That's the thing, man. You have to draw both support ultimates out, and then, only then, can you maybe look at getting that huge Dragon Blade kill streak. Here we go. Coming in, Libero on the back lines. Jam is down immediately. Oh, that's bad for New York. Ark has to use the Valkyrie. They need their tanks back up again. It's under a minute, but Janus falls again. London, are you kidding me? And now Libero pulls out the Dragon Blade. Bird Ring goes down. Libero needs to kill everybody. But no, he goes down. And the best they can hope for now, Doa, is another push. They've got one more left. They have to retreat. They still have the Transcendence, but Jonak under heavy fire. Man, they are so lucky that they didn't lose Jonak late there. But this is it. 20 seconds, New York needs to push. Or their hopes of winning this one are over. London Spitfire, 20 seconds of defense away from being the stage one champions. One last fight to decide our victor. Here we go. Here comes a rip tire, Profit, a pick here. Could be a $100,000 ultimate. Could he do it? Oh, he's after the mercy, he gets Ark. That's huge, Transcendence comes in from Jonak. New York scrambling. Profit will be brought back up again by Nuss. We're into overtime. The payload moving forward just a little bit. Fury going into the back lines here. Can he get the kill to Janus again, who's in that primal rage? Gesture down. Furthering kills Janus. Both wins it's out of commission. Save will be super low, trying to get away. He's out. And now the transcendence comes in for Profit. It's Lundin only Libero left. Hold strong. That is it. Libero, last man standing. OT ticking away, and that is it. London Spitfire will be your Overwatch League Stage 1 champions. In their 14th game of the day, the reverse sweep from London, coming back to take home $100,000 on Dorado. What a stage for these guys. What a day for these guys. They lose to New York Excelsior in the first match of the day, way back starting at 11 a.m. They battle back. They take out Houston in an epic semifinal, and now here they are, the champions in game five, winning the map that they won against New York either today. These guys, they came into the league. Two teams slammed together, trying to make something out of it. We knew there was a lot of power on these rosters, and now they finally brought the synergy together. They have put together something pretty incredible. They absolutely have, though, and what a sublime DPS performance from Bird Ring and Profit to close these maps out. Absolutely. Great showing from New York today, too, falling just short of winning that stage one finals. But your victors, once again, are going to be the London Spitfire and, uh, and somebody in an arc jersey. <laughs> And let's send it down to the floor to see how our victors are feeling. Well, guys, they're both pretty happy. They are the winners. Those guys are your stage one champions. Please, once again, give it up for the London Spitfire. What we just got to witness on this very stage is a result of hard work, dedication.
dedication, incredible individual skill, and of course, teamwork. All those teams in the Overwatch League have been grinding, have been playing their hearts out on this very stage for the past five weeks. But of course, only one team can come out on top, and this time it's gonna be London Spitfire taking home the crown. Thank you everyone for joining us here, but we're not done just yet. We're now gonna head over to Bucket and the guys to break down the action of that last and final game. Thank you so much, Sully. Congratulations to the Spitfire, and what a way to walk away as Stage 1 champions. They were down huge at the half. They never gave up. Battled back and won three straight to close it out on Dorado. Let's take a look back at some of the big moments here. And it all started with Horizon. And at the half, I asked you, Sideshow, I said, what does this team need to do? How does London get back in the game? You said it was all about the defense. They need to switch up the comps. They pulled out the Junkrat and it seemed to pay big dividends. Yeah, it really did. It was fantastic for them. Yet, I want to say that they took my advice. Clearly they did, but they already had a game plan in mind. And this defense coming out on Horizon was utterly sublime. They were able to take it in the end. It looked risky, went to the time bank, but London Spitfire clutched through insane performances from Profit and Birdring throughout the whole of the latter half of this series. Yeah, they can really honestly be super proud of what they've achieved today because that is incredible. I mean, we're going, we're moving on to Nambani here, but it, it just one after the other, Birdring picking up so many of these critical kills, as well as Bedosin, the consistent player on that support role, building up these transcendences, con uh, competing with Jonak. Jonak, one of the best supports in this league and beating him head to head, honestly, just all around the, the London team was just playing so, so well. And you can see the reactions after game four. There is hope. They don't finish though. On their attack, they get it to point B, don't get it all the way to point C, but it's the defense that was the difference maker here at London holding strong. Back to back to back game, Sideshow. Yeah, and Profit again comes out with these ridiculous Junkrat performances and clutches it on the defense alongside Birdring on the Widowmaker. London can hardly believe it. They've come back from the losses later on in the season. They lost to Boston, they lost to Houston. They had to come back in the uh, tiebreaker game, or the, the, uh, semifinal? the semifinal, that's the word I was looking for, against Houston, managed to win that one in such a tight series and then go on to win this in a reverse sweep. Crazy. It's this ridiculous. And Brett made 15 bucks as these games were going on. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Ridiculous story here is the London Spitfire. They're on top of the leaderboard to start the weekend. Well, they end it with $100,000 in their pockets. But really, the award everyone wants to know about is our player of the match, sponsored by Omen by HP. So many names. It's a gesture. Is it going to be profit? No, it's the ring. Bird ring going off with the sniper right on Dorado, and he started it all the way back on Junkertown. No. He did, and they lost that map, unfortunately, but not, not through any uh, underperformance from Birdring. He had an insane series on Ilios here, on, in control of the high ground, but they couldn't quite Oasis. get it through. And then this reverse sweep was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm honestly so chuffed for this London squad, right? Because can we just briefly mention they played 14 maps today. That is a test of endurance. That is absolutely crazy. And Birdring was one of the, the, the reason, honestly, alongside the, commu the communication, the teamwork that they've been building up, but just hard work from this team. Honestly, crazy stuff. Birdring being the centerpiece for it. And he did it on so many different heroes, but the flashiest of them all has to be his Widowmaker. 28,000 damage dealt in this match against one of the toughest teams, if not the toughest team we have seen so far in stage one. London pulls off the improbable, and it's a massive victory for this UK squad. Moving forward, what should we expect? Because this is the end of stage one. We're coming back stage two. We got a new patch. We got a new meta. Is London the top dog to beat right now, Sideshow? I think they definitely are. Moving forwards as well, if you start to see less Mercy or more tanks, they have the depth of their roster to play any strategy, any meta, and they have insane individual talent on paper. I think London Spitfire coming into it looked good, slumped a bit in the preseason, but now they are back and they're for real. What a way to finish stage one, and we have to thank everyone for joining us. Remember, we have so many more matches to come throughout the regular season. This is just the first of four stages, plenty more games to go, and it still kicks off here in just 11 days.
We're heading into stage number two, and look at what we have here in the opening week. We get Houston versus London again. We get London versus New York again, and it opens up with the Seoul Dynasty and the Valiant. The two squads were just on the edge of breaking into the stage one playoffs. I mean, that what, what did we do to deserve such incredible Overwatch <laughs> in such a short amount of time? We're not worthy of this. It's crazy games you're all not, around. You're not I'm not worthy. <laughs> brand but new game, else. brand new league. Fantastic story here to our first stage. Thank you for everyone who watched. If you missed any of the matches, go to overwatchleague.com. Catch up on all the VODs. We'll see you in 11 days on February 21st.